listening to the Pine Room Podcast, the home of sports, gambling, entertainment, and whatever the hell else has gone on this week. So pull up a seat by the fire, crack open a cold one, and make sure to get your bets in. Welcome to the Pine Room. All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the Pine Room Podcast, episode 18. I got it right this time. Morning, uh, we're here back in the studio. We got a loaded desk, seven of us today, one of us off his camera. We got crew on off camera today, but we are back in the studio. Got a couple announcements to make before we get into the good stuff. Uh, first off, uh, one thing that we're going to push that this Thursday, we are recording our very first spinoff show, which uh, can we reveal the name? I guess we can. We got rained out yesterday, so yeah. So remember, this is a betting show. This is about uh, gambling, sports betting, uh, all things sports, whatever kind of, you'll, you'll learn lingo, all sorts of stuff, and that will be called Better's Last Stand, coming out uh, Thursday. <laughs> well, we'll be recording Thursday. We'll probably come out Saturday morning, and uh, you'll get to see that. The first spinoff show that we're going to do, hopefully that'll Matt, go well. Can you, can you tell us why it's called Better's Last Stand? <laughs> well, uh Coach likes to refer to uh, when we get slaughtered pretty good every day, which happens a lot. So, uh, but we we kind of refer it to how General Custer felt. So that was Custer's last stand, and this will be Better's last stand. So hopefully we turn out a little better than him. But I it, think it, it, I, I think it's going to go well. Days. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to go well. And then on that day too. Uh, we are interviewing Coach Crutchfield. That was supposed to be Monday, but we, we got rained out because uh, we're outside. But we got rained out. Coach Crutchfield will be here Thursday. We're going to interview him for a little bit, and that will probably come out uh, Friday. So we'll have that out pretty quick. Uh, it's not going to be full length. It'll be a nice interview. Uh, have a, It'll be good to see him. Like I said on the last episode, I haven't seen him since I was probably like two or three. <laughs> I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, we'll have him on. Uh, we'll talk some sports, talk some other stuff, talk some fun stuff. No, going to bore him with interviews. And that's when you were getting recruited heavily to play basketball, yes. right? Mm-hmm. Yes. I was three years old. Uh, I was torn between that and Glenville. <laughs> did, you, yeah. did you tell him you shoot with both hands? Yeah. That's why he wanted me. Yeah. <laughs> In case one gets hurt, I got the other. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, we're going to have Coach Crutchfield on on Thursday. And then uh, we got some other stuff coming out later on down the line. But as far as our show goes, as far as the studio goes, those are the two big things to look out for as, as well as this show. Uh, you can follow all the social medias at uh, the Pine Room Podcast. That's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, TikTok. Follow all the stuff. Uh, I'm getting a cue from off camera. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Jeez, Jeez, he got guys. killing you. Oh my god. Yeah. This so now we don't have studio shows. <laughs> yeah. Right? So the next, the, the next big announcement, uh, which is probably uh, just as as exciting, uh, next next Friday at River City, we will be hosting a live show. That is the Italian Fest live show, Italian themed. Uh, uh, come over, watch us for a little bit, hang out with us, go over to the Italian Fest, and I think you said get. Get fucked up last yeah, time. Yeah, get dude. fucked up. Eat yeah. some meatballs, some yeah. sa- sandwiches. Yeah, sausage. G- yeah, but the first thing you said though was get fucked up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Then if you want to eat something, yeah, that's drink, usually if the- you don't want to get fucked up, drink birch beer. I don't. <laughs> yeah, care. there you go. Just go down and have fun. Watch bocce. You got to soak yeah, up the alcohol afterwards. Yeah, so you yeah. Get fucked up. Smoke first. some cigars. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that it. time is uh, that time is solidified. Seven thirty to nine o'clock next Friday, July the 29th. Come out. Let's drink some brewskis. We're gonna have fun. And it's gonna. That's pretty. It's probably one thing start to kick up a little bit that time of night so hopefully uh if you're not too slaughtered by then come over <laughs> t- come over and uh say hi and and we're gonna give some stuff away do some stuff that we did uh similar to last time we got some you know some new stuff that we're thinking i uh, got in the works maybe interview some people that are involved with the italian fest so that's gonna be fun uh so yeah can we get us at 7 30 7 30 to 9 o'clock 7 30 9 o'clock that's next friday at river city come be down there be there or be square. Uh, but as far as that goes, I think as far as announcements, that's pretty what much it. Uh, I feel like it's only fair that next Friday night we do more beer chugging. Uh, <laughs> more? I want like sausage eating or sausage, funnel yeah. cakes. Yeah. I think yeah. somebody Ooh. should do funnel cake Ooh. eating. Funnel cake, I like that. Is an elephant ear a funnel cake? Yep, similar. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big a variation. Fan of that. Mm-hmm. Nothing yeah. like fried more dough. Or less. Doesn't an elephant ear have a little more cinnamon <laughs> taste to it, maybe? What's an elephant ear? It's like a like funnel a, cake. It's kind of like a funnel cake. It's like a, okay. okay. like a big actually, elephant here. I didn't know that, Matt. So there is a variation to that? I, slightly. But I think you can get uh, funnel cakes with cinnamon on it. But I know, I remember those original elephant ears were more uh, cinnamony flavored to yes, me than they the, were. Than the, okay. uh, 
than the regular funnel cakes, but uh, yeah, both it's like a big good. pachyderm ear. Both good. Good. Jeff, I was going to say, there's nothing like a funnel God cake. Damn. Man, that's, that's good. good. Anything fried, fried is good. Mostly. You could fry a bobblehead. Powdered sugar, yes. though. <laughs> One of those monkeys that tastes good <laughs> fried. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, hey, you know what was good uh, is our burger that we ate down at Generation. Oh, yeah. my goodness, oh, yeah. Yes. Pretty damn good. Unbelievable. So. We have... Uh, oh, that's what I wanted to mention. So, yeah, that's going to come... That's only going to be on the menu now, probably in for perpetuity, hopefully, uh, so... So go go and get your burger down there. That's the Pine Room burger. It's we, got all kinds of did shit. Did we ever on get it. the stats on that? I, I think I read in a message, but I forget. Yeah, it was that burger night. That burger night for generation was the most burgers they've ever sold in a, of a one night. kind of burger. I, I'm not sure if it was one time, but all oh, over oh, okay. that whole okay. p- that menu, that gotcha. whole thing, which was all only running for the Pine Room burger. Right. Which we but, sampled uh, them all, yeah. Yeah, we sampled them all and they, they actually sold I think we sold upwards of thirty some. So I mean that's pretty I darn think that, thirty pine was, thirty pine room burgers and ninety total burgers that hmm. that, that night. Night. We'll take a third. Man, well, some... you think about this. So Generations has been around first and foremost forever. Number one, yes. number two, mm-hmm. they've been doing Burger Night for a good, uh, actually, a decent amount of time mm-hmm. as well. So for us to come in and be part of something like that, and they're yep. sending burgers, it's actually pretty, pretty yeah. impressive. So that's good shit, fellas. Good yeah. shit. Yeah, good work. Yeah. yeah. So go get a goddamn Pine Room Burger, <laughs> yeah. Generations. Texas and Toast. actually, real quick, that evening was a fucking blast. Yes, it that was. Evening yeah. was absolutely wonderful. Mm-hmm. And, and I got some. Uh, I actually, you know, usually I wrap up the show with uh, some monkey stuff. And that's my usually my cold pit or my cold mug. I have a hot pit this this today, Ooh. but it's gonna yeah, wait to the end. I, it's like gonna, I, I remember the first about. like your first like three episodes. It just got dark quick. Oh. Did it? Yeah, well, well, we scared God, him man. off with the kids getting buried. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they yeah. survived. I think yeah, that was survived. episode one. They survived, but everybody had to wait a week right. to hear that. We yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cliffhanger. Yeah. It's a cliffhanger. That was. Yeah, so other than other than that, we have one more thing, and, and go to the store right now. That's uh, thepineroomshop.com. You can get the hat that is on uh, Jared's head right now. Uh, it's a cool hat. I honestly, I didn't think it would actually look as good as it did, and it Looks turned good. out really well. All the gear <laughs> is super. All the gear mm-hmm. is super well printed. The logo came out great, so uh, don't, yeah, there's one more shirt that we have on here. Stand up. Stand <laughs> up a little bit. Come come in front of the camera. <laughs> he's got a hat on. <laughs> he's got a hat on and a, uh, and a shirt. For anyone like a that Mannequin. For that's anyone that's stud. just listening right now, just it's, come in front of the camera. And here, what color is that job? Gray. That's like a re- what asphalt is that? gray. Yeah, like asphalt gray. Asphalt asphalt gray. So that's and the a nice hat. Yeah, flex. Nice blue hat. <laughs> yeah. Too. So we have the hats. Those are the baseball caps. Those are different than the dad hat. This is the PRP oh, shirt. Uh, the initial shirt. That's that's. Uh, the launch official shirt for the website. So that might only be up for a little bit. So get it while you can. Yeah. I think we uh, just spoke coked out with modeling career here. <laughs> 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 I think I see the bucket a- hat's not on... Yeah, we're still yet. sold out. I think I see a gremlin coming from your belly. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and the big question is when when are the champ faces like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah right so there on Jared's Jared's got it on Yeah, so uh, actually, who somebody printed those? They, they we uh, they sold weeks. those. Uh, yeah, yes. uh, Weeks Jeff who's a Weekly, fan of the show. Weekly, friend of the a, show. Friend of the show had those printed. Uh, it's uh, I don't know if we're gonna sell them, but <laughs> it says well, I'm a victim it, of sure, it surely looks good. Yeah. It's got the American flag on. It's got that face on it, and it says a victim of circumstance. Circumstance. But if you ask George, like he always he does. That's a Three Stooges uh, yeah, reference. Right, right. But is he really a victim of circumstances? And how so. would he explain it? What would he say? Like what? I, I don't know. He, I don't know how he can. I, I heard he. I heard uh, his performance the other night was not yeah, good. He, was not, he 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 definitely maxed out for the week on Tuesday when he was up here with yeah. us because <laughs> he did not have it on Sunday. His yeah. star started when, a very very it, uh, it was about par effort. I was so freaking tired. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it was about shit. Probably seven o'clock when I came. Maybe earlier than that. Probably about six yeah. when I came down. And when I was there, he was he was already asleep. <laughs> he was in and out of consciousness. Yeah. Yep. It, the. He ate too much. He was drooling yep. everywhere. Oh, and then yeah. he lost all his bets, which finished him off. Yeah, boy, man. he ate a lot. My God, did he eat a lot. <laughs> yeah, thank you, because I stopped down, too. Uh, thanks to whoever cooked or yeah, whoever Nipper, brought food yeah. down. Yeah, to Joey the, Colangelo, yeah, Joey Russ Colangelo. Uh, Radcliffe. Yeah, yeah really good. Good well. music. Good yeah, they food. were great. It was a good time. Did they listen Scotty to the show? was awesome, yeah. taking care of everything. Did they listen to the show? I'm not sure. Yeah, they, well, maybe they should they now. If they they should out. We'll get yeah. them listening soon. Yeah. But, yeah, as far as that, it, I keep saying that, as far as that goes. Uh, yeah. But, anyway, uh, the store's up. Go to the store. Buy some shit. Uh, there's cool stuff on there. Hats, shirts. Uh, new designs gonna, coming yeah, soon. Yeah, we're going to come up with new designs. We actually have one that I'm, I have. Uh, it's it's ready to go. I'm not going to re- let it. I'm not going to release it for a little bit because we don't want to, you know, fire all our rounds until uh, 
you know, we get some steam. But uh, it's uh, it's a champ base shirt. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, just look out for that, and, and you'll see. I that don't know. In the maybe store, we so. do really. Yeah, maybe I think we the, release I think, it. I think we have a whole champ line that comes out. The champ face. <laughs> uh, is that like going to be a? Champ. Is that a subcategory yeah, on the, the champ the, line? Yeah. Like you know, what I mean, the head has to come out. Maybe his writing has to come out. That, like for Friday, like a special release. Do you know, champ to celebrate our series. live show. Agreed. Hey, what we could do because oh, you can on that website, you can pick what kind of shirts that you want to have. Like what brand? We could put it on champion stuff. I'm in. That's pretty cool. I'll buy it right now. What about a? I think this would be awesome. A uh, <clears throat> champ uh, Halloween mask. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, that. Wow. Does, do we know anybody skilled in latex? I, 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 that's yeah, kind of like that's the old Hall- tank mask. You yeah. Guys right. Can you imagine you our Halloween that, picture? Mark? Back here uh, with all of mask? us with the mask uh, on, that would be phenomenal. We could scare some people. Yes, phenomenal. <laughs> or if he just wore the Richard Nixon mask, that would be good. Too. I'm excited. I'm really excited for when the holidays come around with this thing. Because we haven't really had a holiday aside from, I think, Mother's and Father's Day is, uh, that we've done anything with Fourth the desk. Fourth of July. Fourth, Fourth of July. July. But, I mean, we didn't do anything yeah. with the desk. But I think uh, Halloween will be sweet. Thanksgiving will be great. Christmas, Christmas will be great. Yeah, mm-hmm. hopefully Santa will come. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Maybe we'll be somewhere sweet for New Year's Eve, all of us. Where are we going to be? I don't know. So I'm sure the Vegas pine... in bed by eight. Well, that's <laughs> uh, that's six months from now. The pine room has to grow a little bit by then. Maybe so. we'll be in Times Square. Wow, could you imagine? <laughs> Actually, maybe even North Carolina. Yeah, we can yeah. all be rolling in North Carolina. We got a place to stay down. There. Yeah, you do. <laughs> everyone, yeah. everyone can sleep with me. Well, I know the guy next to you would love I'll to do that. that. <laughs> cool. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to talk about what we? You have going on Monday, or is that under wraps still? I said we wait. Just okay, we'll yep. put that under wraps. So uh, we got another something little special uh, maybe coming out Monday, but we got it under wraps, so uh, we'll let you know. Again, keep updated on all the social media at the Pine Room Podcast across the board, so go follow us there. Basically, we got a shit ton of stuff going on. Yes, mm-hmm. a yeah. lot of stuff. The Pizza Man, uh, if you're watching, uh, your name was, I think, Thomas. Thomas, the Pizza Express Pizza Man, he uh, <laughs> came up. He got to see this whole thing. So uh, thanks to uh, oh, I guess thank you to Pizza Express for uh, giving yeah, us some pizza. This but dinner. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Duggar's Famous Chicken and Wings. Uh, they have been with us since the beginning, since episode one. Uh, well, a little bit, a little bit later than that, but they've been with us since the beginning. Uh, so Duggar's uh, Famous Chicken and Wings, go down and see them. Uh, the 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 wings are still the big, or the the uh, chicken tenders are still the big thing. So uh, hey, I had them last night. You did? Uh, yeah. Well, Curry wanted to take the pepperoni rolls that he had here in the Pine Room from Duggar's. He liked them so much, he wanted to take them home to his dad over in the Eastern Panhandle. His dad's a big uh, pepperoni roll connoisseur. He goes, scours the state of West Virginia for the best rolls. So, Kevin, uh, we went down there uh, to Duggar's last night, got him loaded up with rolls. Uh, I got the uh, Nick Combo. And, That's the, uh, it, it was, was the eight, eight and eight? Yeah. Or the five? No, the eight. eight. It, well, hey, I wanted to ask you this. You're a big McRib guy, right? Oh, I love you, the McRib. Have you had the, the Duggar version of the McRib? Oh, look. look and they're sounding the alarms. Yeah. The Duggar <laughs> McRib. Duggar, Duggar, Duggar McRib. McRib. Well, Kevin had it last night, and he highly recommends it. Really? He said it was Tommy. outstanding. You, got, I love the McRib. He said he eats a McRib every day when it comes out. Yeah, here. when it comes out. I, I, made a, I made a vow like three years ago that every time a seasonal thing comes out or a temporary thing comes out at a restaurant or like a, some kind of chip or a pop, I always get it now. Yep. But the McRib. Rib I've got. He thinks uh, he thinks it's gross. Coach thinks. <laughs> well, it's try a, the Duggar rib sandwich. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, Curry I'll said try it was that. very good. And uh, Chubb, what what what's the most recent seasonal thing you've had? Do you try uh, the sh- yeah. the Shamrock Shake? Shamrock. When they come out? I don't I, see. I don't like those that are kind cool. Of hey, you got that? Uh, you yeah, got that special. Cool. Is either Sprite or Seven Up, but add cranberry. Cran- oh yeah, Sprite holiday. cranberry. That I was very good. Whoa! Speaking of Sprite and cranberry, a transfusion Tito's Sprite cranberry. That's an unbelievable drink. What about the woo woo? What's in the woo woo? Woo woo. That's uh, that's Sprite, peach schnapps, cranberry. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's wow. it. Yeah, that's what we had an really good, delicious. Yeah, very that's good. Job. What? What? Oh, go ahead. What was the? What's the last seasonal thing you think you've had? Mm. Probably nacho fries from Taco Bell. So. No, I don't. I don't do Taco Bell a lot. Uh, probably you don't last do thing. any seasonal thing. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I did uh, something oh. for uh, probably for Halloween oh. or Thanksgiving. No, uh, the last thing I did was probably the cereal that I brought. Was the cereal that I brought? It was all oh, kind yeah. of seasonal what was that stuff. From? There was uh, the Shamrock. St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, St. Patrick's yeah. Day Lucky Charms. That was probably the last thing I did. But did there have, hasn't been really any have corned up. beef and cabbage? <laughs> yeah. 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 Corn Sauerkraut beef. on New Year's? What were you going to say, So Jim? real quick, so I know there's a generational gap up on this stage right here, whatever you want to set, whatever you want to call it. I know uh, Jack off Jimmy Nardoni put in the text the other day about corn. Now, somebody, a couple just referenced corn. What the fuck look, is corn? That's <laughs> some of the, anytime okay. some look. 
when so, someone says that's corn, that is that shit is hilarious. Now that that has so, attributed it, back to, to Coop, I mean to Coop. years. Luke Coop. Cooper, who's a fan of the show, the show huge fan, a huge fan. Coop was actually one of the reasons we got the Pirates video out. He, yes. he was behind the camera. He was that on. Night. He did the camera work on that. That's on Coop YouTube. started. Coop started out by saying. Um, you're a schoolyard, which really yeah. just meant he. It came from the thing. If there was a guy that wasn't that attractive with a really hot girl, he used to call that guy a schoolyard, and then everything just became a schoolyard. Like if Jarrett struck out, he was a schoolyard. I, if if Cooley geez. if Cooley had a horrible night on playing video games, he was a schoolyard. And then that's corn originated. So really, I don't dare. How do you even explain? <laughs> I don't remember. It? I, I, I don't, I don't right, even you guys remember might as well how. Be speaking Japanese. You know? So, so I like, for, I, I don't say, even, man, that's corn. That means that was shitty. Yeah. yeah was well, I shit. took I took yeah. that one, but the schoolyard thing, I have no <laughs> idea what that even same means. Same yeah, corn. I heard corn a boneyard, but not schoolyard. <laughs> boneyard. Schoolyard. The boneyard of beer. It's funny because because barstool. I watched a barstool interview where it was they they said if you could if you could something about coming up if you could oh show the world a new piece of slang like a new word of slang the first one i thought of was corn because <laughs> corn could mean anything like you said if it's bad if it, if if if, a, if somebody looks looks bad oh he looks like corn but i've yeah. never said corn to be a good thing no that's corn's no, not never. a good thing. i usually okay. it's usually like if something bad happens i'm just like so, if, if someone makes a bad throw in a football game he's corn yeah, yeah the yeah, pirates corn. are corn yes <laughs> yeah. jeff have you yes. ever i've never even heard of that before <laughs> that's, 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 i don't think it's i don't think because these guys said it out here so i don't think it's yeah i don't think it's utilized anywhere else besides yeah. West so Liberty. another oh. yeah, and maybe in Nebraska and Iowa yeah. or something. Another branch of corn, which he Jarrett just came up uh, with. Yeah, he just I, coined I, it on the way to Antigua. Good, good corn or bad corn? This is bad. So Jeez. so yeah, uh, I, I like corn, corn or salty corn. <laughs> well, he well this is not Kettle even corn? corn, so it's like a branch. <laughs> Okay. He now uses if if something is bad and saying instead of saying something is corn, he says that's burger. <laughs> so if you're if if you're bad, stupid. If Jared. you're bad or something, if you're bad at something, yeah, he's burger. Yeah, he's burger. And, he's but, burger. Uh, Oh wow! See, or if you mind, have to take a shit, it's I have to burger. My favorite one, goddamn. Well, yeah, I don't know why. It's, yeah. See, well, you guys make things complex. Yeah, why yeah, don't yeah. You How say, about this one? This guy's a fucking asshole. <laughs> he looks like shit. She's ugly. Well, that's <laughs> something. <laughs> see, yeah, but yeah. that's like if we if we're out in public and I go, hey, Jared, oh, look, hey, look at this. Yeah, look at this burger. Look at that ugly fucking well, person Jeff, over there. You said freak show. You said the generation gap. You like you you hear people say they're down bad. Do you ever hear that often? Like there something just happened and like. Um, they're down bad. Do you ever uh-huh. hear that? Yeah, I'm <laughs> down bad every weekend. I'm okay, gonna so say, if, yeah. if you have a bad weekend of of it's betting, it's kind of like betting. Yeah, yeah. You're, okay. you're down bad. Or if you you had a really hot girl, you were supposed to take her out on a date, and and she leaves you. Now you're down bad. Down bad. So okay. Jared, that happens to me. A so lot. that happens to Jared all the time. So he says, <laughs> Jared started saying, "I'm down earth corically." <laughs> Like, that's as low as you can get. Wow. I've never heard anyone else in the world say it. I'm in Nashville a month ago. Something happens. This, this guy was hitting on a really hot girl. She left him. He didn't have a chance. He said, I'm just, I'm down earth corically right now. I can't believe he <laughs> actually laughing. said that. Oh, wow. I started Look. laughing so hard because Jared, I'm telling you, Jared's the only one who's ever said it in the world. Oh, oh. That gets, that gets a good point. I just thought about this. For the poll next week, let's do if anybody else has slang for stuff like burger, corn, corn. schoolyard, earth corkly. And I don't think the thing is, I don't think anybody in the world has ever s- said burger, corn, yeah. none of this. We could probably have a whole episode on all this of the yeah. slang. You guys are blowing my yeah, mind well, here. I, 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 I can't keep up with this. I, 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 have any... I love that because Matt literally educates me weekly. I, so. this, this is a except day I was his, glad I missed school. Except his, his education. Useful. Yeah, it's useful. Yeah, yeah like incarcerated well, maybe, and ostracized. Maybe, but not really. Well, when Matt shows up next week and he's going to say, hey, that guy's burger. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that guy's burger. Okay, I mean, so Chris. Carl's so, hello, Jr. Okay. burger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hello? Chris, uh, what hat do you have on? This says 2022 something uh, on it. Crystal, Crystal Palace. Palace. Crystal Palace. 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 CPAV. Yes. Yeah, get uh, ready for Premier uh, League soccer. Uh, so I'm going to quiz Eagles. you. So oh, if, you see, if you see, uh, <laughs> let's say you go to uh, a restaurant and you had a terrible meal. That meal was? Corn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what if, what if you got corn for your meal and it was bad? It and was, you say your corn is it corn? Corn, right, corn. Matt, then, it was corn, corn. It was corn, corn. Then it's down bad. Right, but, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Good job. I got one for Matt. That's where you could substitute burger in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Matt. You have a three leg burger. You have a you have a three leg parlay. You've already hit the first two. You now have Florida plus seven and a half. 
they're up they're up one with ten seconds to go and they end up losing by eight. You're what? What sport are we playing? Football. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no, I have no idea. Way. You're um, you're down bad. Oh, down bad. <laughs> I, I've heard people right. say similar things like running bad or the, you know down on the CD. Locker. When you guys, when you when you are unveiling the new show, the the sports gambling. Well, it was supposed to be uh, Monday, but, but now but we're pushing it out. Your show is going to be educational as well. Yes, you're going to yes, inform everybody the, langu- the lingo. Not, not that kind of language either. <laughs> Stuff that you have no Useful. idea what the hell it means. No, when you were throwing out, you know, uh, what was yeah. it? The juice and. Yeah. and, and Parlays and teasers yeah. and yeah, you're probably gonna have to keep you know one eight hundred gambler just as a yeah uh, that'll to let everybody a know that'll, that'll, it'll run on a ticker and it's for amusement only right yeah yeah, yeah entertainment po- and it, entertainment Thanks. purposes only I'm yeah. glad you brought that up because that conversation came up in my house <laughs> last night what do you guys think about one eight hundred gambler it's I don't think anybody mean. uses it's it. It's a joke. It's a dumb fucking thing, number <laughs> yeah. one. Well, Two, it's, it's like because putting don't a get, Band-Aid don't, on it. Don't get me wrong. You guys probably have to do the fair and balanced, right? Yeah, you, you have to have that as an outlet now, for people because you could be liable if you and, and I get give that. them Why are you saying it's dumb? Because I think at the end of the day, and I know this is very insensitive, but I'm going to take it one step further. That's all right. Um, people that are unfortunately have some suicide, suicidal ideologies. They're going to call a number where they don't know that fucker from Adam. Wouldn't you pick up the phone and maybe pick somebody you know? Like, how is somebody that I don't know at all going to talk me off and not jumping off the suspension break? See, the way that I look at that kind of stuff is I think those numbers are for people that fear for somebody else. So, like, if I think you have a problem, oh. I call that number and then I figure out what the hell to do with you. Oh, you know yeah, what? I never looked good, at it. That's, that's, that's a good point, That's John. a very good yeah, point. I, I didn't that's look that's at right. it, though. I thought it was for Jeff Wood. But, but, but you call gambling. and you but say it, a guy's got his family held hostage. We well, yeah. from gambling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, what you're saying, But, I mean, they're also, like, they do say if you have a problem, call this number, which is like like you said, like, if I have a gambling problem, chances are I'm not going to call somebody I don't know. Like, what do they What do they? You're going to a suspension bridge and end it. That's just like... <laughs> and I'd always laugh too. Whether it's a, a, a liquor or beer commercial, please drink responsibly. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, come on. Like, <laughs> now, I mean, never well, vo- any of us. Thanks I mean, for letting me know. I, mean, I, well, every, I don't think we're that bad at that. I mean, geez. Every no, industry. no, no. I'm just saying we don't go out and say like like Sunday. Like, well, guys, we're gonna have a good time, but let's all please drink responsibly. No one ever gives that any thought. No, no. I. I mean, I don't. Well, I, think, <laughs> I mean, in the back of my mind, I'm hoping that I end up responsible by then but you're the not you're not going to keep referencing boy that commercial it's in my head no, please no, no. no fuck i've that. never thought of that commercial once hey, okay that's that? what i mean no. but, it, but it's the same as the gambler thing my th- well, one of the things was uh that i was laughing at like uh the just say no thing when it was like snoopy is snoopy would go around and it was just mm-hmm. say no it was yeah, joe too cool to yeah, smoke our joe too cool to cool oh, joe yeah. too cool yeah. to smoke Can when, joe? like if i'm t- if i'm 29 and i think can really do i think of snoopy like hey snoopy told me not to right. smoke yeah <laughs> maybe what about hey my- i was thinking about what if when you call 1-800 gambler you call and then they just give you a lock yeah right before you before we get you into this program i got a winner for you <laughs> yeah, maybe you'll feel better <laughs> right and if you win then you don't need to call don't need us anymore <laughs> i know, honestly this was just Good talking win. about last night I, just, I don't understand and it is sad though like you even talked about matt that you have to Quote, unquote, yeah. The lottery account. makes us do that too. You know, you got to protect your citizens. Oh no doubt. Because well, you know what, they don't want people going and offing themselves because that's tax that's money, money they can make. Well, the thing, I mean, even the uh, drug companies, uh, when right. you're out there pushing dope, you have to tell them, yes. um, okay, so okay, doc, this is going to lower your patient's blood pressure, but unfortunately, it may cause their asshole to rip out. Right. But at the end of the day, oh, well, I'm sure he'll have a medicine that'll <laughs> stop his ass. I think that's falling out too, Jeff. I think that I think that exact labels on the back. Of a McDonald's Sprite, right? <laughs> Man, I hope I don't hey, have to take that. Man. Here's the deal: you're gonna have hey, the greatest. We lost job. He's finished. Job. But Jeff, I, I, <laughs> since, since you were, you know, used to pedal drugs like that. I always wait I just, a second. Wait, that that sounds bad. That, well, legally, legally, yeah, it, it, that was very, that was his career. He's licensed in the legal. But I always laugh, and, and all those pharmaceutical, you know, these oh drugs, these God. commercials, and then they. But they, there's four, five, six different like side effects. Mm-hmm. If you got this, you got don't take. I mean, I, I think it kind of almost like 
takes away from what the fucking drugs for. And I, unfortunately, you're right. Yeah. But the thing about it is, and everybody, I know I they have I, to. Well, no, they have to. But I think it's sad as a consumer, though, that we all know that we take the risk when somebody prescribes us a drug. That there's always going to be a negative. I'm just so it's so sad that we have to broadcast that. I mean, people should right. be educated and stuff like right. that. Right. But they shouldn't be held liable at the end of the day if something does bad happen because I know I, I have that possibility when I take it. Right. But here's the deal: it's going to lower my blood pressure, so I'm, I'm taking the good stuff with I, it. But unfortunately, hey, as cause yeah, but then, five other things right. that we'll give you medicine for later. Yes, right. Exactly. But then but someone else well, I have these side oh well, well you didn't you didn't watch the commercial? No. Like you ever you ever guys I mean, have it's similar to what we're talking about here is like one one medicine need if to take one medicine, it'll give you this side effects. So now you gotta take this medicine right. to That's counteract all designed. that. So do you think and I this is this could be a whole show another spin off that we do a conspiracy <laughs> stuff joke. Mm, I can't wait for that. I think that some I have always thought this like not not necessarily to like but like toothpaste i kind of use an example so like what if what would stop a toothpaste company from making toothpaste that makes your teeth decay so that you buy more of it <laughs> not, well, not well, or yeah. not necessarily decay. where's the cycle when then your teeth are gone and you don't need to brush and then them you got to go to the dentist That's what and get, to george get, well, then, but the, the toothpaste company won't make any money off that but i get what you're saying no, well, yeah job, there's I a chain understand. reaction yeah. but not like everything. not like decay like you brush them once and they fall out but like over time like you you think these are getting cleaner but really i'm fucking my teeth wouldn't up. surprise me at all yeah well it's regulated and we're ho- the only thing yeah, yeah. That, the wonderful fda well hey. that's what i was gonna Jeez, say yeah I, we're hoping as americans we can lay our head down on the pillows tonight that yeah. they're not too too corrupt but i can hear your point <laughs> i mean at the end of the day yeah. is it a possibility because i mean if they're in the back pockets of the fda <laughs> yeah i mean you never not? know yeah you never know you should go, check your tooth if you go through a grocery store and look at what's in food and, you, and the fda approved some of that stuff doesn't make you feel very well. Here's confident. the deal. It's funny you say that. Did you guys see they came out with a list the other day of ten things in America that are super popular that are banned in other countries? Oh yeah. And one of the ones is Skittles. Oh yeah. They're saying. Oh, I some, saw that. I get a lot it. of banned yeah. things. There's Sugary, a lot, like, like like literally things that we probably people ingest on yeah. a daily basis yeah. is banned in other countries. Like what? Like uh, what kind of company calm. or what kind of country or not what European. What? European? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Not even ones as restricted as like North Korea and Cuba and China. Either. What else? Do you remember anything well, else? That was no, on there? but I just I, I just hope McDonald's McFlurries aren't on there because <laughs> oh, I literally you still my, eat it. Yeah, still I would still it. continue. You, are you guys? Yeah. Now, I know I know you're this guy because I know that you don't like chickens out of the chick or chicken eggs out of the chicken. Mm-hmm. Were you like? Because when we were in school, we watched the uh, something about McDonald's about how the food was made and like how chicken nuggets were made. Yeah. To me, like I, I get it. Like it's gross. Like it's, it's gross. Like pink slime. Yeah. But, they, but they taste so oh, funny. I don't give a shit. I don't they care. So good. If they make the McChicken the same way, I'll eat fifty of them right now. <laughs> hey, remember that show you used to? We watched in school the Super Size Me. That fuck that, oh, guy, that guy that ate yeah. McDonald's for like three times a day. Every three weight. times a day for a for a month was and it? Lost yeah. weight, right? No, 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 no. He got miserably like. Yeah, he got real. Big. He yeah. wanted to like I kill himself. I think. Out there <laughs> are you thinking of Subway? That's that guy. No, that, I think are you thinking of the guy that eats with Big Mac every, every day, day for like it was how many years? Like is he still alive? I think so. Does he still do it? Yeah. Yeah. Think, Big yeah. Mac a day. Matt. Speaking of Big Macs, if you, sorry, it, you're a, Matt. You're a smart dude. You still eat. You still eat fast food. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I try not to, but sometimes it's in. It, What's that have to do with being smart? It's absolutely not smart at all. But I, I kind of agree with Jub though. I mean, I just you just kind of become numb to the fact that this food is produced the way it is yeah and it's probably not good for us with the preservatives and all the things in it what's our country's so obese and disgustingly fat and out of shape and it's it's getting worse by the day and you you see these little kids in a high chair that they can barely uh, fit in it and it's it's a shame because the kids get addicted to sugar and i'll tell you this the addiction to sugar is worse than probably any drug we have in yeah. this entire yeah. country. It's have you guys ever removed scary. sugar from your yes. body yeah. and seen well, what it does I, to you? Well, I'll tell you this. How fucking great you feel if yep. you completely remove yeah. sugar well, from your body. Well, after diet. you get for, you're going through withdrawal, like you're, like you're stopping I, using I, a, a legit hard drug, the headaches and things you get. And I'm not even a sugar abuser, but if I go on a day or two where I'm eating a lot of sweets <laughs> and I, I cut, because I don't try not to eat them, and uh, you, I mean, you suffer. And then, I, I, I did this, and I know these guys would say, oh, you didn't do this. or And I know it's stupid to do. I know it's really dumb for, for you to do, and you shouldn't do it. I just drank water for three days. I didn't eat. Yeah. I just drank water for three days, and as hungry as I was, I felt good. Like, I felt good. I know I wasn't getting That's, anything yeah. in, 
but I wasn't eating like all the shit that Chemicals. I eat all the time. You literally didn't put one, anything. Nothing. I'd I had water. I'd chalk if I did I, yeah. that. Yeah. I'd be I, I'm <laughs> serious. If I, I'm not condoning anybody do this because it's not good yeah, for you. That's yeah. actually yeah. not, not true. You. Not to contradict it's you. It's not true. as bad as you're saying. Though. Yeah, yeah, because at the end of the day, there's new studies now that talk about how this whole this whole fasting thing is blowing up now. Now oh, maybe yeah. three days. But it, there, it, yeah. But there's some nationalities that they come in like some of the Middle Eastern countries where they fast for a month at a time. Yeah. Like I watch a thing where people you can go. The human body is made to, to, to survive. It, it, as long as you have water, which is the only thing you need. Well, not the only thing, but because you, you need food. But if you drink water for like you know uh, on a schedule and you don't eat, you can survive for months. You can, see. Yeah. If I go twelve hours, my sugar like I'm, I'm a mess. Hey, are you guys? Do you guys? You guys are all too young, except Chris and Jeff and me, to remember uh, Hakeem Olajuwon. Remember that when he used to when they were in the NBA finals and he mm. had to fast during Ramadan, yeah, Ramadan and he wasn't huh? able to eat yep. and he was oh, still God. he was one of the best centers in the history of the NBA and he <laughs> wasn't literally able to eat for 24 hours was it sundown to sundown yeah, sure. or something yeah. Kyle but, Irvin was doing that this year too you don't like you guys don't like Kyle Irvin but he was he never yeah, even he played was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> during the playoffs and stuff oh, I didn't so, know that. I didn't even know he was mm, into that oh yeah. well, I, guess, I, I try wrong. to fast every Monday this is gonna sound crazy I try to fast every Monday I'll my last meal will be whatever on Sunday I try to go all day Monday and not eat till Tuesday at twelve yeah. o'clock to try to just re kind of like readjust my body yeah. for lack of better terms. Dude, yeah. I could you guys are insane. I could it, it, if you drink enough water, do it. green yeah. tea and coffee. Honestly, if oh. you keep yourself busy, if you yes. keep, and you're busy as shit. If Dude, you, you can that's what makes me hungry. See, yeah, but I don't think. Zone, see, I, I get true. that, but I, I'm saying you keep your mind on so much stuff going on. Like for me, it's hard because, like, especially when I'm not in like school or I'm not working on this stuff, because I'm just sitting in there, and then you just think about food all the time. But like for you, you're going all over the place. I think you could do it for a no. Day. I'm all into I'm all into the different type of diets and stuff that people do. So I just don't know enough about it because I just when I hear you say you don't eat for an entire day, my 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 brain's like, how's your body just not shut down and want to? Go eat chalk, like Cooley said. <laughs> Dude, I'd be such a dickhead if I did that. When I get so hangry, I'd be a mess. When you guys fast, I always reference this. Uh, Theo Vaughn said when he went on a fast, <laughs> he uh, his his senses were very heightened. He said that he could have heard someone drop a skittle from a block away, or ho- <laughs> heard someone. So fold- <laughs> yeah, he said he could have heard someone fold a piece of bread from three miles away. <laughs> so, were, were you, do, like, do your no. senses like? I mean, like you just get like I was like you get unbearably hungry. Well, he, al- Actually, well, he also said he also said that he was in a Best Buy and he was looking at this little uh, Korean fella, and he he said at one point he truly believed that he could ate him. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, I'll tell you what my first meal after three days of not eating. Guess what my first meal was? I know exactly. McDonald's. Nope. Taco Bell. Nope. Drovers. Boom. Ooh. Wow. Drovers. How'd you have enough energy to get in a car and drive there? I didn't. I rode with him. Right. <laughs> but you have to lay down bet, in the back? I would bet my life that you didn't house Drovers. Didn't at all. I didn't felt miserable. You probably got I full felt, real fast. I felt mm. miserable mm. afterwards. Yep. But, no doubt. Yeah. Shock the system. Anyway, go, try. don't go for three days, but try fasting for a little hey, bit. Hey, we're going to do a Pine Room weight loss challenge. Yeah, How we could that? do that. Oh, I'd love I'm to in. do that. I'm in for that. I'm, I'm in. Count me in. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, there goes the beers and the fun, though. Hey, Fuck that. The fun will still <laughs> yeah, be Yeah, we might have been. Yeah, we'll put that on hold uh, Your now. dad will <laughs> sign up for that, won't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, look, look to the, his left down there. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Okay, and welcome back. Uh, we are uh, about to talk some uh, talk a little sports. We had a, you guys had a big day down at the club yesterday. Uh, oh, Sunday. Yeah, you guys. Or yeah, yeah, well, Sunday. What's, well, what's that today? was just the uh, the put the uh, cherry on top of the great weekend we had. Uh, recapping our pine room picks, we were eight and fourteen this week. But Jared, you you were the lone bright spot. Um, I had, work, a, had a really good really work. good weekend in uh, Call of Duty League. I'm sure you guys are just absolutely <laughs> right. dying to watch that. Hey, if you can give but us hey, winners, we'll take them. I was three and zero. Doesn't matter where they come from two or singles, what they are. Two singles and a parlay. Yeah, we. Uh, I changed up the theme for the the betting, the the bet slip, the the yeah. Instagram thing. We went from we were the wood like we've always been, and then I thought I thought crack stone because everything's crumbling down. I thought it'd be yeah, well, it'd, it'd be good. Started to crumble pretty good last week. Yeah. So uh, if I know anything about betting, though, we've had two down weeks. So hammer us this week, yeah. all of the picks. So don't hammer me. Yeah, we're due. This too shall pass. This yeah. too shall pass. So we're we're on the we're on the uh, we just hit the down slope on a roller coaster. We're about to go back. The up. racer. The yeah. racer. So home run derby recap. I see that on this list. 
I, I don't like how Julio Rodriguez hits 80-some home runs last night and gets beat because yeah. Juan Soto only hits 56. they got to figure out a way. And yep. someone made a good point. They said timing is everything with the home run derby. Like making oh, and sure hitting he, second. Helps because you can second. stop. Yeah, exactly. Wait, but, how did he get beat? So he hit like 32 in the first round, 30 again in the he second round. He wasted a bunch. He wasted a bunch to win the, the quarterfinals and semifinals. And then in the championship, he only hit 18. Because when, oh. when you hit first, you have no idea how the guy behind you is going to hit. So you got to oh. try to hit as there many. There needs to be redemption. Or something because Julio think, Rodriguez was the better guy last night. Now, they he, should handicap it. They do should you think make them have to cover spreads? That's, that's what good. I think they should do. But do you think it, it puts more pressure? Do you think there's more pressure on the first guy or the second guy? So I, I say the second guy because if the first guy catches yes, fire, I, I, mean, I agree. I think it's the second like guy. Like Seeger, was he the guy yeah, that yeah, he had was, no shot? Like yes. the announcers were saying that Pete Alonso said the thing that's helped him win two in a row is he got to go first a ton and put pressure right, on another guy. Right. Mm-hmm. Julio Rodriguez used that against Pete Alonso last night. He hit did. 31, and Alonso's like, I, I have to hit a lot of home runs to catch this right, guy. And you know mm-hmm. it going in. You're not. You're just not sitting up there with a free mind just B- trying but to But I your- saw one of your guys' text messages last night. The, the home run derby is by, by far the best all-star event in any sport right now. Whoever whoever was saying that. I have a blast watching the home it's run pretty derby. pretty much the only I one agree. left, I guess. But if, I don't know. No, I feel I like the better guy should be in it, though. Like, no reason Judge yeah. and, and Stanton, one of them, should have been in there. Yeah. I agree. I think if you'd like, to, they should just take the top four home run headers and just force Absolutely. them in. Yeah. They should force them. Yeah. yeah. They should put into, uh, like, the, just put the eight, the, the most light hitting guys in the league and just see if they <laughs> could hit one. <laughs> the yeah. Pirates would probably have seven yeah. Put the pitchers out there. Yeah. Put, like, eight pitchers. That would that actually would, be pretty That cool. would be entertaining. Mm-hmm. They would take yeah. that seriously, uh-huh, actually. 100%. We got to We got to keep them healthy. Can't pull muscle. Right. Yeah, well, yeah. we're going to do a pine room, though. There were some just suggestions yeah, on text message about that. that. A pine room home pine run, room run derby. Yeah. I think that would be Are Soup's a clear heavy. favorite. Are we actually Nick's, using real Nick's baseballs? Said you would be the favorite. Yeah. Me? Yeah, because you got no, you to get at least like me, Matt, and uh, – Mark and uh, like you guys, Jeff, you guys can hit, Yeah, you like, can hit from the second well, base. Yeah, or no, something. Well, are we going to have it? You got to break. A like hip. hit left-handed. We got to hit left-handed. Can we wow, use, that changes. No, we the get odds. aluminum bats and tennis balls. Yeah. that's what we get. I mean, great. Get the camera. Get the cameras down there. Set the odds. I'd pull yeah. everything in my back. I want to see right champ hit. Oh god. Yeah. Nine room home run derby. Let us know if you'd watch. I think. What are we going to do? Live stream it on CBS. But hey, but that time the, that when we had that little well, it didn't, it never aired. But when we were up watching Jared's one of the last games, and remember that Jared got a, he had a <clears throat> really good hitting day that day. And I remember the first at bat, and he lined a single somewhere, and Cuckoo just said, "See, he just kept his head down and swung level." <laughs> nice. Like yeah, he's yeah, level swing, coach. he likes it. I wish I'd have listened to that my whole career. You'd have batted three fifty. Oh my god, is that as good as hey, just throw strikes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. right. Just throw some strikes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's literally. Been, or go ahead. No, I was gonna say it's literally the the most annoying. When I used to pitch, and I would hear, I, I'd hear either like, uh, uh, "Just find the zone, just find the zone," or uh, uh, "Head down," or uh, "No, no, get on top, get on top, <laughs> get on top," or no, uh, throw strikes, throw strikes. <laughs> no That's shit, right? Yeah, really? like I wish so. I could say, "Hey, time out." Who said that? Come <laughs> right. out here. Thank you. Yes, thank right. you. I've been doing this and, wrong and for. What is it? The other one. I always like this. Mark can remember this from our softball days with Mr. John. <clears throat> play within yourself. Yeah. Like, what did, what did, I mean, do you play without your, uh, yeah, like out of body your, experience? Yeah. What, what does Stay that mean? Within yourself, I hate, kid. I hate eye on the ball. <laughs> well, isn't that like, where like, are you looking? Isn't that kind of like Bobby yeah. Knight when they said about uh, put your game face on? Yeah. He goes, what the hell is a game face? When he starts making all those. Oh, yeah, yeah those yeah. faces. Yeah. yeah, it was a good one. That was a really yeah, good game. What, I still think this is funny. I don't even remember what it's from. What were you guys referencing a couple weeks ago? Shoot at Will. <laughs> oh, that was Dumb and Dumber. He says, uh, yeah, fire at Will. Oh, three Stooges. Three Stooges. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three Stooges says, fire at Will. And he said, well, which, which one's, one's Will? Will? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. I've never seen that. I think it's hilarious. Anyway, Jump, we, huh, what? Sorry, what else do you say that's funny? Is uh, Pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Beavis and Butthead. You say uh, 911, Beavis is bleeding. Oh, Beavis is bleeding? <laughs> yeah. That's a great show that's there. A, wow, that's a tangent. All right. <laughs> what else we got to talk about down here? There's a, there's a long know. list of other news and notes if we don't want to talk about sports. Now, how about oh. this? I thought this was interesting that came out today and I added to the sheet. Uh, Texas Tech is reportedly offering – Football player, every football player on their roster, at least twenty five thousand dollars in NIL deals. Wow! So how much, about how much oil money is it? Oh Texas yeah, T Boone Pickens. Yeah. I mean, my God, uh, I mean, Lubbock. Yeah, Lubbock, Texas. The, yeah. the uh, the uh, 
What was I going to say? Shoot, I lost my train Matt, of thought. Matt, I, I was just seeing that the other day I was looking up rankings for a high school, like there's a wide receivers rankings, all that stuff for kids that are going to college in a couple years. Yeah. They now have the ranking and what they're worth NIL-wise. <laughs> so it That's says awesome. like number one ranking player in the country, he's worth 256000 oh if he goes God. to this school. And number 40th ranked is worth 78000 and stuff like that. So I, I think we're in a really bad track here. I saw Lane Kiffin talking about, about the other day at mm-hmm. SEC Media Day. Uh, we're we're heading down a bad bad road bad, here. Bad, bad, yeah, bad, really bad. really bad. Um, it works uh, in professional sports. It does. Yeah, I mean, no, he loves professional them. sports are <laughs> at all happened? time worst right now. What, what, if it wasn't for work? gambling, professional sports would wouldn't even be mm-hmm. in existence. And a lot of think. time, those guys don't play until their contract year. They then they go out there and try yeah. make their money, and then they kind of go off their law a little bit. Do you think that? Do you think the majority of people who watch sports gamble? No. Yes. Hundred uh, percent. I'm gonna say I disagree. I'm gonna say I say no. But I say no as well. Because if you uh, think about all the people that go, like say say to go to a just pirate game for instance, or go to a, a Steeler game, do you think over fifty percent of the people in that stadium bet? No, probably no, not. Because you got a lot of kids pretty, and stuff like that. It's getting so, pretty close to that. I don't know about that. I don't. Like, know, I don't think I don't like know, older folks are betting. I don't know if the stadium's a great analogy, but I, I mean, I think. What would you guys say? Would you say 50? I mean, you're saying yes, but I mean, I'm I would saying, say at least 50 I'm saying the numbers are rising immensely, and especially in because jurisdictions where you can bet legally. It's it's going through the roof, and many people will tell you that the products that MLB, NBA especially, and NFL, or maybe even more than the NBA, are absolutely unwatchable products without fantasy football, fantasy sports, and gambling. I, I truly, Bad. it's in my, in my blood. I've been watching sports my whole life. I work in sports. I, I really wouldn't watch these games if it wasn't from a betting perspective. They are terrible. Like, I really don't enjoy well, Matt, them. How about I this? don't enjoy them. I really don't. I For, truly don't. 46% of American adults have at least some interest in sports betting yeah. as of I think that will continue to grow. Because a lot of people are, are like uh, goody two-shoes type people. They didn't bet illegally. They're only going <laughs> to do it when it's legal in their area. So I think you'll see that growing. And when California and Florida, if they ever get it worked out with the Indian reservations, you can't even imagine oh. what it's going to be like. Oh my God. I mean, New York State's already <laughs> making. Well, I'll tell you this: Florida Florida will be yeah. I'll tell you as a guy that as a guy that hates sports in general. Uh, Me too, John. I <laughs> I when when we used to have guys in the pine room and we would stay out there for twelve hours in a day, I hated it because I I hate I hate sports, but. Then I was able to gamble, and Makes then everything funner, became right? a little more fun. Yeah. Like, you get actually something to root for. So I don't like the sport. I just like money. One of yes. our buddies the other day said uh, he was. we were talking about college football coming up in the NFL and how fun it is just to put some money on some of the games. And he said, it makes the New York Giants versus the Jets the most exciting game of the week. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And it 100%. didn't always used to be that way. For, for me, I mean, I grew up always had an interest in gambling, but – Chris can back this up, and Jeff, I'm sure you were the same. Is when we were kids, like I absolutely loved sports. It didn't matter about the mm-hmm, gambling yes. aspect of it or anything. Like tonight's All Star game, it would have been a day that I'd have had circled on my calendar. Tonight, I'll watch an inning of it and fall mm-hmm. asleep because yeah. I would. I'll bet on it, then I won't even watch it. <laughs> but it, it's just not the same anymore. Yeah. I mean, you know, you used to come home from school and the Penguins played, and I was so excited. And I, I wasn't old enough to bet; I didn't care. But I loved it back then because the guys played for the right reasons. And now it's just let disgusting me ask you this question, see. Matt. And I and I don't disagree because it's kind of went a slippery slope. But do you think it was because? Um, we didn't have as many options when we were kids. It so, probably helped. So Penguins mm. were probably the only team we could watch at right. that time. Mm-hmm. Right on a nightly basis, yeah. Well, we had to in, – in the summer, Chris, you were, the, the Braves were always on TBS and then the Hawks in the oh, wintertime. It, yeah. I mean, I knew every player on the Braves. I loved it. Watching my dad every night, it was It was a cool thing because you're like, wow, we get to watch every yeah. Atlanta Hawks game yeah, and every Atlanta really Braves neat. game. Yeah. And now, Superstation. You, yes. Yeah, great times. But you are right, right, Jeff. We, we didn't have access to that stuff in uh, – I don't know. So, some of that is uh, obviously today we have amazing uh, platforms and things. You got information everywhere, betting sites, all kinds of web streams and stuff. But it, it was kind of nice in the old days to have a more simple life where you were only worried about one or two different things and you and you love that stuff. Well, when you know that. what, too, that I think <clears throat> is changed for me anyway. Um, when you used to have it, didn't matter what league it was or what sport, but you had serious rivals, and you would never have yes. a a player when his contract is up Switch go teams. and signs with the, the enemy. Yeah, and I always and I, I can't remember if there was, but like who in the back in the seventies or eighties, who from like the Washington Redskins would sign with the Cowboys? Nobody. 
Mm-mm. Or the Penguins, it, it, someone signing with the Flyers and vice versa. That's a good point. If a guy left, he it, would go to a non-rival or yes. something. And a very few. And how many and, times is your roster the same almost every year? Mm-hmm. You might have one or two new guys. No, It, it was it, great it, back then. And to me, it really – it did actually make you enjoy it more as a fan because you actually felt like you knew these players. Like yes. you were there, they were there every year for you for you to cheer for. Now it's like uh, money will just buy. They don't care. They'll go Red Sox, Yankees. They don't give a shit. Go ahead, was Johnny Damon yeah. did that yeah. right? Oh yeah, yeah. Jacoby yeah. Ellsbury. There's a bunch Damon of them. Damon was the, yeah. Was like Wade the first Boggs one. did it. Yes. Wade Boggs, Mister Red Sox, and he tra- he's a traitor. He goes to the yeah, Rays I, and the I, Yankees. I mean, come on. No, I, that's so for me. I, that I lost a lot of interest. Oh, and they all in the shade, they all hug each other yes. after the games. Yes. And, yeah. I, and then, I don't know. Matt, how about this? I like that you put this on here. I thought this was cool because I've been there a few times too. Uh, the Top Golf expands offerings with a ten hole course. Yeah, I just read a little bit about that. How they're starting to do par threes at Top Golf. I think that would be an absolute blast because yeah. they let you drink there too. Like when you start warming up up on the um, when the driving range with everyone else, and then to go play a par three. Yeah. Hopefully that comes out here out east because they I got saw a, it just uh, out west. Top right Golf now. definitely has a good product, and they they definitely will continue to parlay that into more offerings like that. I think because. The sky's the limit for a place like that. They're going to charge you an arm and it's a leg, fun. and people will oh, pay it. It's a blast, and it's and they're so really they're nice and sleek looking. They look really nice, like the whole the properties and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a really good job. And I know the one the one closer to us in Bridgeville, PA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's in an unbelievable location for right. all the people like where we live, and then all yeah. everyone from Pittsburgh comes right. down. Yeah, and it's to very it. uh, eye appealing from the interstate. You're yeah. driving by so, and you I see mean, it's like wow. You actually wonder what the hell it is. Yeah, you don't know what it is. You're very flashy looking. How much does it cost? Uh, it just depends how long you play, but I think for an hour it's thirty to thirty five bucks. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, no job. Idea. They're <laughs> counting. They're counting on you drinking. That's what. Yeah, they is it thirty five dollars with it's drinks like included? It's, no, it's like no, a restaurant too. The, the, the food, food and drinks are, are expensive, expensive, but you're paying for the atmosphere, which I think is yeah. it's yeah. a nice. Tri- you don't. It's fun. Yeah, you're not going back once a month, but uh, well, we, you know what we might as well do get a cooler and go up to Ogilvy, and that's that. I mean, that what, part three, yeah, it would be. I would agree with you. Yeah, well, yeah, but what, you don't get as good as food. You don't get the delivered beer and all that. Like, you're right. They're right. You're paying for that casino. They also have like casino like atmosphere. That tell you how far you hit it. You can play the different games and all that. You've never been, job. I could give two shits how. Far oh, I hit the ball. Well, you yeah, I mean, you're a if biased. you're just there to drink, if you're just there, you don't have to play. You can sit in one of their. They yeah. call them. Yeah, but why would I go to spend ninety five dollars on beer and food? Job, I'd like to. I just wouldn't do it. Stand out here. Some people and like to launch golf yeah, balls into the woods. Blast them in the woods. See if they hit trees. Yes. Or go to the beach and hit them into the ocean. Well, golf yeah. balls get expensive though. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> No, we can just go, no, we can just go behind Wheeling Park and collect Steal them in the woods. Them. You can get a hunt. You That's can a get, lot of work. I'm telling you right now, we 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 had the bright idea when we were little to go collect golf balls, and we had a bucket full, and we were, we sat out on the driveway and we tried so to sell them. <laughs> Counterfeit like golf balls. Cheese. Yeah, like we, like we were gonna make a profit. Job, like, if wow. we if we run it out of bay up there, you're saying you wouldn't go at the hell's golf. a bay? They're like, they're like the little areas where yeah. you run. Out. Am you, I paying? You not, listen. If we <laughs> if we went to talk <laughs> the golf, room. would you come with us and just Am launch golf balls? Am I paying one hundred fifteen dollars? No, so, no, no, someone's taking care no, of you. You got to take your first, your first date. You got to take a, a first date up there, and I'd, that's a cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather go to cheesecake. No, she'll throw you out of the top of the bay into the ground. Anyway, sorry, I derailed that. Where, what else you guys want to talk about? I, well, for here? you gamers, with back in the day, I know it was important to me, Matt. I don't know if it was important to you. A EA Sports bringing back oh NCAA my. football. Did, were you yes. guys back in the day? Yeah. It was my favorite sports Played game. Yeah, it was so much so fun. fun. Oh my that God. is a really good thing about the NIL cools. I'll give you that one. That, yeah. That's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. Also, in EA Sports, did you hear all these guys bitching and whining about their yes. Madden ratings? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Your boy, uh, Watt. Uh, from the Steelers. Was he upset with his? Yeah, because yeah, uh, Miles Garrett got rated higher than him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The whole city's like, you know what? I guess he's going to have to win another player actually, of the year. Uh, Defensive player of the being year. Being a big Browns fan, I, I would disagree with that. I think I, I, TJ I Watt definitely should be, they they should be They both should be 99. Yeah, agreed. They both should be 99. But it just seems like Watt has a bigger impact on some of these games. Yes, yes. It's and hard when, to argue that even if we don't <laughs> like him. Are we talking about Madden? Why are you shaking? They're mad about the Ridia. Who gives a fuck? These players, Did you? Jamar Chase is like, Ready to like? Yeah, yeah he wasn't yeah. the top ten. He's crying and whining. I mean, I, it's it's you are you where making we're at. you are making it's millions stupid. of dollars, yeah. and 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 you're on a video game. You know what I do to be on a video game? <laughs> but they're <laughs> almost <laughs> insulting a skill by like whatever they made. It's about. a video game. I know, I know. It's but like, game. if someone yeah. put me on there and said, "Oh, he's terrible," what? At this, you're not I'm a 99. Like, you're a no, 94. He's corn. He's, he's corn. corn. Yeah. 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 His speed is corn. I'd be upset. What would Jub's attributes be if he was a wide receiver in Madden? Zero, 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 zero. No, I'd have good hands. I'd have good kicking. I'd have good kicking. 
punt. Has a receiver. Has Cooking a, yeah. accuracy. A, pun, a punter. You're a good kicker. Oh, I can punt a ball. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, gotta take to I got to take my shoe off, though. Okay, Chris, were you in the video? I know uh, a little bit older than me, but like any types of video games? Yeah, you- but geez, I grew up on Atari. Well, that's what I'm saying. But you <laughs> yeah. played the, what about ColecoVision? Yeah. Remember ClecoVision? Yeah. Oh, yeah, all that. Matt, you in television? Yeah. Yes. Uh, but, uh. but I wasn't, I mean, <clears throat> what were you talking about? The, the college? Yeah, the college yeah. game yeah. coming back because they did away right. with it when the NIL thing mm-hmm. started getting Yeah, because who's traction. Some, um, the twins from UCLA basketball. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the uh, O'Bannons. They start, yeah, Eddie they start, O'Bannon. They started yeah. the Eddie and lawsuits. Charles O'Bannon. That's yeah. how that all came oh, yeah. right. was, was. I was pretty sad yeah. about that when I went away because that game, I probably uh, had every one of those since the old Bill Walsh football 92 or whatever it was. Something I'll give the older generation, I missed. Arcades, man. Oh, that's I sweet, miss like dude. when arcades. Pinball like, machine. Yeah. God, I'd I yeah. love to have oh my a pinball God. machine. Where was I playing? Oh, Bull on the Beach. I was playing pinball the whole time <laughs> we were there. Dude, Jurassic Park. Pac-Man, yeah. I think Pac Man yeah. machines, I could sit there and play for hours. Mm-hmm. That stuff is awesome. And then I played uh, that. Uh, Bowling game for puck, the first time. Puck, puck bowling. bowling, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah that I was never a, even heard of that Duffy's, before. I'd never seen what was, that. What was the first game systems you all had? Like, me uh, me and Chris had Atari. And yeah, then Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64, okay. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. then I remember how excited I was when my dad got us a Sega. Oh. And then we had Nintendo. Hey, that, and was that was a like big Techno. deal. Oh, that man. was a big deal. Oh, was, uh, some uh, of the greatest times of my life. Uh-huh. Yeah, the Nintendo 64 used to have the... The cartridge, and you yeah, take the yeah, cartridge yeah. out. You, you oh yeah, I remember it. giving right. you guys some of the games that yeah. I had from that. Yeah. Did you play, uh, were you guys? Did you guys play GameCube? We yeah, lo- yeah, yeah. GameCube. Game you guys had a GameCube. Lo- I, we lost our game. Yeah, I, I have no, no clue where it went. <laughs> that's yeah, actually lo- when I started my gambling career. Because as kids, we used to. No jo- <laughs> that's no joke. We used to play NHL. Put lines on them. Well, we didn't do the lines, but we play five bucks a game NHL. Where I did that all through college. we play seasons of it, and we play. I make point spreads for. I think your. <laughs> your setup in your college days is one of, I That's think it greatest. deserves. It was ahead of its time. I will say what that. What was it, Matt? Tell him about your setup. We had uh, we had TVs. We had we had like I think at one point we had four, but we at least. It, Early on, we had three TVs. So we had TV. We had two game systems. We would simultaneously be playing a season of Madden and a season of college on two different game systems. <laughs> All the kids that lived on my floor, so everybody had a team. So there was like twelve of us or wow. something. Like, so we would continuously play it. We had uh, we had a, a, a uh, <laughs> in the summer during horse summer racing. school. Yeah, we had we had horse racing. We played horse racing games. We could gamble <laughs> on that. We had a camera that looked outside that we would shoot raccoons. This is my favorite. It was thing. A, it was. A, it was like it's a, like a uh, CCTV. It was, yeah, it was CCTV. like a CCTV outside of of Christ Hall window, and and if you saw the raccoons coming up into the yard or whatever, you would get the pellet guns and and we oh fire God. at the raccoons. Your RAs were okay with that. Yeah, we, they didn't care back then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Your RAs were probably in the room with you. Yeah, well, they were adjacent. Yeah, it was uh, it was a whole different time up there. But we had fun. It was a very simple way to live. It was fun. And could you imagine today, soup? It'd be unbelievable. Oh, I'd have been I expelled mean, from school oh, so many times. You would have been. <laughs> having <laughs> pellet guns in there. Oh, my God. You're doing the school service. We were. Getting yeah. We were raccoons out of the dumpster in Christ. <laughs> right? People well, are, our buddy Coop almost got uh, ostracized from the entire community up there at Westlip because he was cutting hair in one of the dorm rooms. And, and that they, caused the problem? And they said he was... They said he was running a business out of the dorm yeah, room. Oh hey, Chris, I, this reminded me of a story. Chris, where were we in Louisville when we met that guy that went to West Liberty? Yes. And he, and At he, that bar. Yeah. So we met a guy. It was in the middle of the night uh, in Louisville after a West Liberty game. I think we got eliminated and we didn't have anything to do. I didn't have to work the next day. So anyway, we were out really late. There was this really sketchy bar down the street from a hotel. It was right near Free, Freedom Hall. The Deuce, it was Deuce. called. Yeah. So anyway, we ended up running into a guy that went to West Liberty. And he told us mm-hmm. he would hunt out of his window legit <laughs> rifle hunt yeah. out of beta hall window shot deer down on where the softball field oh, is yeah. yeah with a scope i don't believe yeah. it swear to god i, I gotta find because he I, he told us a guy that we knew that was friends with him and he said they had pictures of it i'd love to have seen it but yeah think about that, that how many guys incredible. back then you guys would, would have been incarcerated immediately oh my god. Oh, couldn't there even get that a, stuff inside the dorm there you know you didn't even have to swipe cards or anything when we when i lived there I do you have one question. At the Deuce, did you ever take a hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. did not. No. I did not. Close. Close. We took a, close. We took a lot of shots of fire. I'm trying yes. to get hey, I'm trying to give her the fucking time. Right. right. I'm trying to do close. right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matt, All right. no, okay, since we're staying on the slang, you know it's corn. MLB teams can add sponsorship patches beginning in twenty twenty three. Yeah, Knicks Yankees are Dude, paving the way. Why would you ruin some of the, my favorite things are the jerseys? Why Terrible. are you going to ruin it and put the patches on yeah, it? Like, oh, well, that's all they money. They won't be like these big-ass. Money, no, money, money. They won't just be like these little 
patches yeah. on the NHL is sort of doing it too. Patch like sponsorship packages. Like the Pittsburgh Pirates will have like icy light well, patches. I think that's like, kind of cool. I think that's neat. It's like a NASCAR. Well, yeah, actually, it's after like I say it, it doesn't sound too bad. Like, how cool would you be, <laughs> be to have a, 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 a pirate? <laughs> how cool would it be to have a pirate jersey with like a, an icy light? I think that's cool. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let me. <laughs> or like, have like a, as long as it's stylish, I agree. Yeah. Within reason. Just well, flip that uh, fast? Well, no. well, after jump, well, not well, think I, about it. It's like NASCAR. I mean, NASCAR pays for all their cars to but be But something all... cool. I don't want yeah, the, and, you know, I don't want the Pirates. Like, soccer but actually, I'm taking it back. I'm switching back again. Because if the Pirates have an, like, if the Pirates use the Acra Shear or something like that, I would be so mad. But if, if they put if a they bottle of ketchup on their The Acra Shear is the name of the new Steelers Stadium. So, like, if they wanted to. What the fuck is that? Insurance company from Michigan. (laughs) That's what they went with? Yeah, Steelers would take money from anybody. It's like an auction for it. They, 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 what is it called? Acrisure Stadium. Acrisure? Acrisure. Acrisure? That's That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Hey. Sounds like a shake. They paid more than Heinz. Money talks. The the, the ketchup bottles came down yesterday. Yeah, it's a great sight. Yep. So did gas yeah, prices. Fuck wonder where this. Wonder where they're gonna go. Those big ketchup bottles. We Maybe need one at the them. Pine Room. Yeah. That would be Whoa. awesome. Wait, a big, oh wait, they sold the big ones. They haven't sold them yet. I, I'm sure they're gonna go on auction. If we'd have had that, we'd have won that Permanis yeah. thing. Hey, yeah. no, hey, we got beef with Permanis. Yeah. Yeah. Beef. Yeah. Yeah. Did Some they of those, pick a winner? Yes, they picked yeah. ten, and they're and I couldn't believe we're not. That, in the top that one with all the terrible towels over it was completely tasteful and terrible. Permanis, I'm 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 glad you didn't get the. And every one of them only had one TV. They only had one TV. Dude, I don't get it. Actually, you know what? There's too much bread on your guys' sandwiches anyway. Right. I don't want yeah. that anymore. Even yeah. though it's really don't good. Don't go to Permanis anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you still want to sponsor us, I'll yeah. Your colossal fish I used to sandwich spend is like a thousand dollars ever had. At Permanis. <laughs> you talk about fair and balanced, but if yeah. you want to support us, we'll take it. Yeah. Your happy yeah. hour is great, but I'm pissed off at you. Yeah. Right. I forgive you already. Jared, uh, do we want to hit that Chris now? Chris has another we... thing to talk about. Oh, boy. Chris, what did you well, you mentioned something? Yeah, like. well, and I wanted to bring this up a, a couple uh, episodes ago, but it just never <clears throat> happened. But I saw in your news and notes the uh, election odds for twenty twenty four. Right, and <clears throat> I didn't even really. I mean, I looked at him. I saw Trump and DeSantis were favored, but when I saw Biden's name and Harris's name, I just got fucking pissed off just because <laughs> they're so inept. And I and when I saw Harris's name, I thought, you know. You kind of uh, associate her with the term word salad. You know what word salad is? <laughs> well, I'm going to give the other guys the definition in case they don't there know you it. Go. So this is according to Merriam-Webster.com. A word salad is a string of empty, incoherent, unintelligible, <laughs> or nonsensical words or comments. And that's basically what our vice president <laughs> right, like, does. She just rambles. And, and hey, She ought to use those words those guys gave her, your corn and burger. Yeah, and yeah. Yes, stuff. yes. So, yeah, I, I, I would, so, you know how you always, if you look something up, you, you use it in a sentence. Well, yeah. I got an example here. Okay. And you guys try to decipher what the fuck she's even talking about. But this is one of her recent word salads at a uh, Southeast, uh, it was a summit in with Southeast uh, Asian countries talking about the fake climate change. Or the crisis. So this is what she says, quote, <laughs> Our world is increasingly more interconnected and interdependent. That is especially true when it comes to the climate crisis, which is why we will work together and continue to work together to address these issues, to tackle these challenges, and to work together as we continue to work operating from the new norms, rules, and agreements that we will convene to work together on. That, that's that's that sounds what like, is that? That's, what the fuck is boy, that? That's like me when I was trying to type an essay and I, you know, I needed fifty more. You know words. what? That, somebody exactly. brought that up. It's like well, a, you weren't the vice president at the time, but, at least. But, hey, they don't have those odds yet on there, Chris. But well, anyway, I, the I thing mean, you were referring to on there was uh, the Canada sports books opened those up so they can actually legally wager on our election in Canada. Yeah, but I don't even trust the elections. I mean, well, that's another. Well, I mean, that's, that's another story. But right, from but, a betting standpoint, um, I, I think that our our country's missing out on that. I think you should have that. <laughs> I think you should have it in every state. You should be able to bet on the elections. It would help voter turnout a lot. Um, I'm I'm all for it, and it's uh it's actually in uh in the UK. It's the second most popular betting market they have the, ever in the entire year is our election. Second to that, remember that big horse race I talked about with like 50 yeah. horses or whatever. But uh, they bet on our election just about more than any other thing, and uh, that's crazy. It's a shame we're missing out on it. I wish we could. I tried to lobby our West Virginia lottery guys about trying to get us to do it, but it, the law's written. So, any of you lawmakers out there that can help me out, help us <laughs> out, get that thing legalized in West Virginia, it's going to put money in the pockets of West Virginians. Mm, it's the third biggest thing: corgi racing. 
Yeah. 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 Corgis little, and pigs. All yeah, right. I saw a pig no. race once. And last night I saw a uh, ostrich race up at Canterbury Park. Their guys were riding them. <laughs> I still laugh they about threw it. threw them off. It was pretty neat. I still laugh about when you said the lady was trying to get on a plane with the... Uh, the turkey. The, yeah. Oh, yeah, turkey. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Emotional support turkey. Uh, that ain't right. That ain't right. not right at all. That ain't right. Uh, Jarrett. We had a poll we went out this week with. Uh, we have a couple minutes left in this half bit, half bit. So let's uh, let's wrap it up with this, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll see what people said. I'm excited right. for this too, Jared, because usually like we have access to the accounts and stuff, and usually I like to see the responses. But I didn't look once this going week. So. Cold. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so going speak, in cold. Sorry, uh, uh, our polls we come out with. I, I reiterate this every week, but just in case you don't know, our polls come out uh, either Sunday or Monday for the Tuesday show. So if you want to be involved in the show. Just give us a response. Take ten seconds. You, if you follow us, just just put something up there, uh, and we'll read yeah, it we, on the show. And we've been getting good amount of responses. Yeah, and people, thank you to the people, people that, yeah, that that have. Yeah, that, and I think they enjoy it. So our question this week was: uh, What is the best sport slash concert environment you have been in? With you know, kind of with summer kick it off concerts and everything going on. So we went with that. Uh, I know Coach is going to like this one from Showtime. Easily, she says, easily the whiteout yeah. at Penn State. Oh, that yeah. probably been sick to be there. Yeah, what was the score of that game? Like 10-7 <laughs> against Michigan State? Defense. Oh, God. All right, from Justin, uh, a Nickelback and Daughtry concert. I don't know if no you're way. serious God. about that. <laughs> I've been to both those. They're all right. Uh, you got to think know, about it. It's the best ever. I, I bet you when Daughtry uh, and Nickelback, I bet when yeah. they were like in their prime, I bet that yeah. was like. Well, can you imagine 60,000 people saying, three doors down. look at this photograph. <laughs> Wait, what was what was Daughtry's, <laughs> what was Daughtry's big song? Uh, what, was that, shit. There was there none. Four of them. No, <laughs> not, no. He's got shit, like three or four really my good mom, ones. My mom had a Daughtry CD in our old van. And she'd play it on the way home. What was, it, what was the big uh, song, though, Job? That uh, was. He, he had, he had like three remember. or four really you big ones. You remind me it, of. No, that's what? Nickelback. Is it? Yes. Yeah, this uh, is what you, I yeah. really yeah, yeah. Nickelback. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we were going to say all of ours, but Cooley says uh, D Wade's final home game. Oh, that was probably sick. Yeah. I was about to cry. Cool. And you've been to a damn Super Bowl before, so that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, D Wade's. The goat, so you know how I feel about that one. Yeah, I, I can see that. Uh, cool. Matt, you're gonna like this one uh, from Chalmer. He says USA versus Mexico World Cup qualifier. USA won two nothing. Mm, yeah, that would be pretty neat. Yep, I'd like to go to a World Cup game like with even higher things on the line than that. That's oh. pretty neat for a qualifier. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, from it's not over to say sorry. Okay, yeah, that way. Corn. Yeah. That's a man. <laughs> All right, from Colby. He says, uh, WVU versus Pitt basketball game. <laughs> Let's go, man. I've been to church services more <laughs> exciting than that. <laughs> oh, my. I, listen, it's probably okay. sick, though. I've never, I, let's, I'd love to be in a backyard brawl for a hoop game. So, All right, from, uh, from Isaac. He says, University of Texas football game or any sold-out hockey game? Let's go, Nellis. <laughs> yeah. Jared, give me an AEP power. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, U T game would be pretty cool if they were good Please. again. Let's go now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, and for our last one, this is my favorite. Uh Emily, she says Coors Field on Fourth of July with a fireworks show after was one of the best games ever. So Yeah. I've heard Coors Field's really cool. I heard it's sick. Yeah. Really, really I'd like cool. if I ever go out there, I'd like to see Red Rock too. I heard that to see a concert there. Yeah, that would look awesome. That, looks sick. That, that whole venue looks really cool. Speaking What's of uh, bands and concerts, Tongue and Cheek is playing at uh, River City. Yes, that the day is after the our day live show. After our live show, I who are they again? Yeah. Tongue- for those listeners yeah, at home, for those listening at home, they are uh, <laughs> a band that's going to play great music. The Where, are they, Where are, they? Where are they out of? Where are they? Where are they out of? They're at River City, July the night of July 30th. So come out to a live show, see us on the 29th. Go listen to Tongue and Cheek the night of the. What 30th. kind of music they play? Who? Good music. Polka. No, I mean, but <laughs> you, he said good music. <laughs> he said, "Tell him without the Bob C." Uh, nah, yeah. that's all right. That's for another show. Okay, that's for another <laughs> Wait, time. So what, what, Should we what go around one of our? Fa- yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I like quick? that. I like that. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Chris. What ahead, Chris. best sports or concert venue? You've oh, it would definitely down there with uh, probably 1984 uh, Mountaineer football, uh, back-to-back games versus. 
BC and Penn State. It was the loudest I'd ever, ever. And they, they beat them. They won both games, and oh, it was – I think they were both night games, too. Oh, it was fucking unbelievable. That's – Flutie, yep. Pat Randolph, round right end. Scored that touchdown. No, that was mine. Uh, Jarrett, jeez, huh? I haven't been to too many exciting sports. I, I guess maybe the most, I guess probably the best environment. That we, you guys are gonna hate this answer, but I know. Uh, right. One time, me and my cousin Sam went up to a pirate game when, oh, when Chris they, Archer. Yeah, the Chris Archer. When they first <laughs> got Chris Archer, it was like you'd have thought the Pirates just got yeah. freaking Mickey Mantle. <laughs> it was like it, it was the greatest thing. But it was wow. that's you got probably an the best. Exciting one coming up Thursday. I do have it. I do have a big one coming Favorite up. Thir- yeah, my fa- I get to go to Morgan Wallen on Thursday, so I'm real oh, excited that's about cool. that. Luke, Luke will be a little jealous of that. Yeah, I'm a little. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for for that one. Big. So, oh, my turn. Yeah, uh, I would say I would have a couple of really good memories. Chris can kind of uh, back me up on this one, mm-hmm. but uh, several games when I was a kid, I was lucky enough to go to Penguin games with Mario Lemieux played, mm-hmm. and some of the performances that he put on there, where the mm-hmm. roof was like shaking and stuff, yeah. it was pretty awesome. So I was very lucky for that. Yes, I was at Fenway Park one time, and Manny Ramirez hit a ball on the Massachusetts Turnpike, which <laughs> was a pretty awesome environment. And then uh, I don't know, concert wise, probably uh, Kiss would probably be one of the coolest yeah, shows that I ever went to. So. Fire, yeah, fire, fire and, and explosions, explosions. Job. in pretty much any horse race anywhere. Yeah. For me, I I literally don't know. I I, I don't know monster trucks. I well, don't know. I think I, it was when you guys beat East Wheeling <laughs> into a baseball. Yeah, yeah that's the worst close. day of Sage's life. Yeah, I that's, think I was, that's I had a good it. time that time. I don't fun. know. I I genuinely don't know. I hate sporting events, so I don't. I don't really. I mean, I haven't been to any concerts. So you had to go to a, a Tampa Bay Bucks game. Actually, <laughs> what about the, what about the off. concert at Secrets Nightclub? That's How about it. That? That's there it. Yeah, yeah that's mm-hmm. it. Right. Both times. Yes. Yeah. Both times. Yeah. Lima Bean Riot. Yeah. Both when I got engaged. Is it true what they say about the champagne rooms? <laughs> what do they say about the champagne rooms? No sex in the champagne room. Except if you're a godfather. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. I get, yeah. All right, so I got three. Uh, AFC championship game when the Steelers won the Super Bowl that year. We were in the end zone. That Paul oh, Mullen, wow. When he made the That's interception. interception yeah. And he was coming towards our way. Uh, we were the first, and this is unbelievable, we were truly the first people at our parking garage. So we got up at like 7, 7, 30 in the morning. That was a 6.30 game. So needless to say, truly licking windows by that time. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother got so jacked up that he literally, we, were, we our seat were the last row in the end zone up top. He had to pee so bad he literally turned around mm, yep. off the stadium. Uh, ah. The poor, the poor people walking down below. I don't know, but oh, whatever. Um, Good for him. Yeah, and mm. the ND Navy game. I had fifty yard oh, line wow. seats. I was ten rows off the uh, thing, and it's not so much about the game. It was my first time seeing a flyover. Oh. And then they ended up bring, the cool part about it is they brought those um, pilots back at halftime to recognize them. Cool. They flew into mm. South Bend uh, Airport. Blah blah blah. Awesome. And the third thing is a Kentucky Derby. That fuck. We oh. got to do that as a trip because yeah, that's unbelievable. That'd be sick. Unbelievable. I've got um, I've got two sporting events that were my like favorite ever. I've been to a ton of concerts and I absolutely love concerts and I'd like to start going more. But number one, um, Jarrett and Cooley were actually there with me. Uh, 2018 WVU Oklahoma. WVU was one win away for, oh, from a chance from playing in the Big 12 championship and uh, uh, Kyler Murray was playing. It was one of the fastest human beings I've ever seen. I remember that game. I completely forgot I was there. It was there. packed Mountaineer Stadium. Uh, Milan Puskar was was that was, was nuts. It was cold Puskar. as shit. Yeah. It oh, was so cold. Puskar. But uh, and then in 2005, uh, I went to the Bears Steelers with my dad, and Erlacher was playing. Jerome Bettis was playing. There's a famous picture of, of Bettis running over Erlacher in the end zone. It, it's a sick picture, but it was snowing so hard. It looked like the snow was coming was out of snowing. Heinz Field, mm-hmm. and it, you literally like for five minutes at a time you couldn't see anything. Then the snow would stop and the game would open <laughs> up, and it, it was that was an awesome atmosphere. I'll never forget that one, George. Well, I put D Wade final final home game over the Super Bowl, mostly because the Super Bowl was during COVID, so I didn't get the full Super Bowl experience. Yeah. But it was still cool to see Tampa Bay win at home. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah. D Wade's final home game. Chris, I think a few of the uh, NASCAR events we were at were pretty cool too. In person, I kind of forgot about yes. those. Yes, some of those flyovers, especially after the nine eleven times, I thought was was pretty. Like Jeff mentioned, the, the flyover. So a lot, lot of mm. cool pageantry there and patriotism. So. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, Good live stuff. events. I don't go to many of them, but these guys do. So uh, come to our live event on the 29th. Hey, yeah, yeah, there you go. What a bridge. What a bridge. Hey, you. All right. We'll be right back. It's time for This Week in History. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, as always, we wrap up the show a little This Week in History and some hot, bit, cold mug. 
Uh, I'm just looking here. Let's get straight into it. But this, uh, actually, sorry, we can't get straight into it because this this week in history and Hot Fit Cold Bug is brought to you by Duggar's Famous Chicken and Wings. As we said at the beginning of the show, just like this episode is brought to you by Duggar's Famous Chicken and Wings. Go down, uh, get the get the the Duggar's. I think it's like well, we can't call it the Duggar's McRib, but it's the Dugger, Duggar's yeah, it's a rib sandwich. Rib I'm sandwich, yeah. very good, very, very good. tasty. High, high, high ratings. Go get the Nick special, the eight piece uh, with JoJo's. Uh, got a whole bunch of stuff: cold subs, hot subs, uh, chicken wings, bunch of other munchies. You'll hear the ad read in the middle of the show. But go down to Duggar's uh, or give them a call. Actually, get them on DoorDash. If you don't feel like leaving if you're bored or you just don't feel like doing anything else. Order food. Why not? Anyway, uh, this is spo- this part of the show and the whole show, I guess, is sponsored by Duggar's Famous Chicken and Wings. Anybody on the uh, anybody on here this week? Anything? Anyone want to oh, go first? I have one that's absolutely dear to my heart. That I I don't know what I'd do without it. July twenty third, nineteen o two. Looking right at it. First ice cream cone created by Charles Menchase. Menchase, yeah, probably. I think it's Mench. No, I think it's supposed to be Menchase. Menchase. It looks like Mench- Menchase for World's Fair in St. Louis. Jarrett used to go in the calf. I'm, I'm, this is probably four months in a row. Every single night we'd eat there, Monday through Friday, leave with an ice cream No, cone. it was my rule. I would never leave the calf without an ice cream yeah, cone. It was incredible. What a flavor. Whatever, well, it would always change in the calf, so whatever was like the, the big yeah. one that night. But then COVID happened, and then no more ice cream. No I, I have an unbelievable yeah. ice cream for you guys, if you can get this. At Kroger, it gets sold out by the weekend. haagen Caramel Waffle Cone. It's one of the best ice creams I've ever had. Well, the calories you, uh, look like... Uh-huh, I don't even care. I just eat it. <laughs> you um, uh, you talked about last week, you talked about how that guy made uh, something about how people made ice cream. Yeah, so day. it wasn't an ice cream cone, but it was like late 1800s, so probably two or three years before Before this. the cone. Before the cone, they would take them months to make ice cream. Like they would, it, it, in the Dixie cup? In the Dixie cup, yep. There's a whole What do you process. think people thought when they fir- the first ice cream cone they had? It was like, fuck, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's cold. I don't think that's they could cold. say this is the best thing since sliced bread because sliced bread no. wasn't out yet, right? Point, nope. yeah. We, we learned that. that last week. We learned that last yeah. week. What did people used to do to make a sandwich? You had to slice loaf. it yourself. <laughs> Cut the loaf in half. Oh, and so that's that's... You ha- you couldn't buy it sliced. I, I assumed people well, just I mean, didn't nobody slice ever, it. They just ripped it apart. Uh, yeah. yeah, you just hey. had two loaves and you just <laughs> took a big hunk out of it. <laughs> like uh, uh, like um, they sawed it with their sword. There was a yeah. cartoon we used to watch where their sandwiches. The bread was massive. Uh, the, there was the the Kankle Sisters. What TV show oh, was that? Eddie. 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 Their think, sandwiches. Are you thinking about you? the Jawbreakers? The j- oh yeah, yeah, the Jawbreakers. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Tom and Jerry. They're yeah. on this. Yeah, next yeah. their sandwiches. What are they are on huge. there for? Tom and Jerry. Uh, where is that? I just saw it. Uh, Hanna Barbera. Yeah, there you go. July nineteenth. Yeah. Hanna yeah. Barbera's Tom and Jerry, Jerry first Chris, appearance. Did you like Tom and Jerry? I bet you didn't. I bet you. No, hated I, I, did you? Oh you yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. That show was awesome. Jerry was a prick. Yeah, he was. He which, was a which little one prick. Was or Tom. Jerry Tom was the, the cat. cat. Jerry was the mouse. Some of the things Jerry did to Tom was just Dang. brutal. <laughs> he fucked brutal. I loved yeah. Jerry. Brutal. All Tom was doing was just protecting the house. Right. <laughs> He would always be sleeping, and Jerry would tie his tail to something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of reminded me of the way he used to treat Maggie. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yep. Here we yep. go. Yep. She's, I wouldn't like hit her over the head with a hammer, no, or, or like, or but, put her tail in a grill and I throw it in the bottom yeah. of a pool. Yeah. <laughs> I always liked the way that Tom would scream. Some of those screams were so yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. But yeah. Tom and Jerry, uh, I used to watch that every like every morning before school yeah. at, at yeah. like some point. I think it was after school. But <laughs> how about July twenty second, nineteen ninety seven? Greg Maddox throws seventy six pitch Amazing. complete game, but I'm, never again. I mean, never again. But Just I think incredible. there's actually a better stat with him. Uh, he played twenty three seasons in the league. Uh, faced 20,421 batters. He had 310 3 0 counts, and 177 of them were intentional. Oh, my. Yeah. Wow. I remember hearing something like that. That's Jesus. just his so, control was just. Is that not un- unbelievable? So that's 100. He only went 3 0 on 133 batters. No, 310 out of the 20,000, but 177 of the 310 were intentional. That's what I'm saying. I'm so sorry. He, so bad. he only went. My bad. I get what you're saying. So he actually only faced 133 batters 3 0. Yeah, where he actually like fell behind it like, wow. without trying to. That's yeah. insane. That's incredible. He took that both strikes to heart, huh? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. And the guy yeah. barely threw it all. What did he top out at, Chris? 91. Oh, 90. Yeah. <laughs> 89 uh, fastball. Yeah. Hey, Chris, I hate to uh, be the bear of bad news, but your boy. Uh, Yo, John? Dillinger? Yeah. 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 Finally uh, caught up to him. What do you think he was watching in that theater? Well, Job, what was it? What happened? Huh? 
What happened? In 1930? He got shot. I was going to put that movie on there. The well, I, yeah, movie wait, I never what, heard of. Tell us what happened. Yeah, well, what no, happened, I was, I, that, Well, I was going to wait for Chris, but uh, on July well, 22nd, 1934, John Dillinger killed outside Chicago Theater. Yeah. The I, FBI agents were waiting for him, Chris, coming out. What was the, he watching? I, I looked it out. I should have put it in Tom here. Tom and Jerry. No. <laughs> there was the, the Three Stooges. Yeah. He came out and they gunned him down in the street. Yeah. Well, some girl set him up, damn bitch. Yeah. Fuck. She set him up. Yeah. She. I think she... I, I could be wrong about this, but I think from the story that I remember reading uh, that she kind of told them she was going to take him to the movie and they knew where he would be. So. Damn. Yeah, so yeah. old John was no more. Uh, How just about like Joan of Arc. How yeah. about this one? On uh, July 20th, 1969, Apollo 11 lunar uh, module carrying Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin lands on the moon. Yeah, day yeah. before my wow. birthday. How about and then that? the other guy, oh. Collins, stayed in orbit, I think, Joe. That's, yeah, that's With what we Michael talked Collins, about. Yeah, yeah, Michael Collins. That was like on the first episode we talked right, right. about. We couldn't think of his name. And I yeah, because we said, we said he gets no recognition right, just right. like the horse gets was, no recognition right. from a Collins. Hey, Collins was keeping the, the ship in hovery. If, yeah. if he leaves, they're dead. He, so, yeah, yeah. he, he could have just said, Collins, fuck you guys. Yeah. And, uh, See ya. Left them on the Gunned moon. Gunned it back to Earth. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what else we got on here? Uh, Do you think if somebody got busted in a... Uh, prostitution ring nowadays they get sentenced to 30 to 50 years <laughs> that's a little it seems like a little light well, well little light. that's the only no, thing they can get him extreme. for yeah i think that's yeah really no extreme. it's very extreme like today's day and age they wouldn't but, get 30 but they to oh <laughs> wait you're saying you're saying no, no well, they get wait, like wait they get like three to five time out yeah. do you oh, yeah. think that's light no i think that honestly you i think, think that's, that's crazy a, that's a you well, think it's crazy low crazy high crazy high wait whoa wait for running a process i mean here's the now here's the thing though Lucky, if Luke. everybody's in agreement, I, what's it fair for me to do? Oh, wait no, a second. I, th- okay. I agree with oh, you. Sorry, sorry. No, I, I, I got, I got yeah. mixed up. In, in those days, they couldn't get the gangsters on a lot of the crimes they committed, so they tacked on as high as sentence. Yes. Like Al Capone went for tax evasion. That was the least of his things yes, that he did. 100%. So well, Lucky Luciano a- had body counts and all kind of stuff on him. They, so got, him for they got him for prostitution. Uh-huh. They're, they're, he was just a pimp? He was actually well, he's a, lo- a lot more than that, yeah. but well, that's, I mean, that's like, what they got him for. As far as that's what they got him for. The federal indictment said that. So what are you saying, Jobber? Well, no, I, I kind of, I kind of. He wasn't sex trafficking yeah, or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what I. No, that's no. what hey, I. These women were making good money yes, here. They they, they, if they wanted they, to do it, good for them. Yeah, yes. he didn't force mm-hmm. them to do it. They they had to pay him, well, but they, yeah, they, he got a cut. That seems a little. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> hey, job. I'm a fire here. I because uh, I think I mentioned it last week about how. Uh, committed uh, OJ was to finding Nicole and Ron's killer. This is great. So I saw on July 20th in 1994, OJ, being the good, caring husband, offers $500,000 reward to find Nicole's killer. Now, that's a commitment there. I mean, well, that's an easy looking. search. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. I mean, that's easy to do that when yeah. you know you're the one that did it. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? You might as well put up a million, right? Yeah, yeah. right, like, right. Uh, inflation. He's got to adjust. Right. It's right. Been Can a you while. believe a guy that, like, if you watch that, he blatantly, he's yeah. blatantly yeah. him. If you can, you believe that a guy that literally killed two people is just now out on Twitter, like making videos yeah. to people, yeah. like. Like sending videos that like some dude, uh, I think it was Pee Wee Herman that got in trouble for something, and then OJ made a video about how Pee Wee Herman got in trouble for like some yeah, kind of public uh, indecency. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Being beaten off of yeah, the theater. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it like, and then, I was trying theater. to keep it G-rated, Chris. But all right, <laughs> why? I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. but then yeah, <laughs> I just didn't want to talk about Pee Wee Herman beating off. <laughs> 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 Who would? <laughs> Ain't got rather talk about other. Other things right now, Matt. You do. I'm see down here. Celebrity birthdays this week. Anthony Edwards. Is that the Minnesota Timberwolves? Anthony Edwards. <laughs> yeah, he's, six, turns, he's sixty. No, he's no, the guy from uh, Revenge of the Nerds and uh, some of them. Uh, the guy in uh, in Top. He was Gun. on ER Top too. Gun. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. What, what was he? He died in that movie. What was? It? What, who was he? Goose. Goose. Yeah. Yeah, and then Goose's uh, Goose's son in the in the new movie. That's Goose a real. Really... I'm gonna be honest he with was, you. Uh, I, I he am... was uh, uh, Lewis. Or no, uh, uh, what was the other guy's name? Uh, oh, geez, there was Louis Skolnick in uh, in what movie? Was Revenge the of the Nerds. I what can't the hell was the other guy's name? Who's, oh. who, or no, uh, Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. Yeah, Omega but it Luz. was Louis and uh, uh, oh, the two main characters. Well, Shit. citation needed. Citation. Yeah. Needed. Well, I I can't believe I can't remember that. Pablo right. Escobar escapes prison. 
Good for him. And then above him, uh, July 22nd, 1991, Jeffrey Dahmer confesses to killing 17 men. Yeah. Hey, I got a funny quick (laughs) story about that. Uh, A girl (laughs) that I work with, uh, she (laughs) and her husband were up in Milwaukee at the time, and they were actually in a diner, and (laughs) they saw Jeffrey Dahmer in there before he was captured. Oh, my God. And she said that that Dahmer kept staring at her husband the entire time they were eating, and he was like, (laughs) Well, this guy just keeps looking at me. Like, what do I know him or whatever? And then they got back to the hotel that night. They were up there. I guess um, one of their parents was up. At, they were taking him up to a hospital up there for some uh, specialized procedure. But uh, anyway, they saw on the news like two days later that that Dahmer was captured. Wow, and that's wow. what he used to do. He used to go to like Shoney's and these uh-huh. diners and pick up men, like guys who would like mm-hmm. want to have sex with and pay him, and then he would kill them and Jesus. eat them. Jesus. Oh, so, yeah. You got a pretty mouth, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Pee Wee Herman also used to beat off in that restaurant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he could have got Pee Wee Herman. Right. Maybe. <laughs> Good one, man. I like that. Oh. You never know. You never know, right? Oh, what else have we got? Anything Any, else? There? Anything else? Job, here? your boy uh, Carlos Santana, July twentieth. He turns uh, seventy. You always got mad at me because or I said Carlos Santana because there was some baseball player named yeah. Carlos Santana. Yeah. But, but I know the Carlos Santana. That's the musician, right? Yeah, that's who I always talking about. Oh, that's baseball him. player, our boy Bonds. I don't think uh, Carlos the baseball player is seventy. Yeah, Bar- yeah, and Barry, well, Barry, Barry, Barry on the desk, fifty-seven. Barry, <laughs> Barry, Barry, Bonds. Barry looks thick. We got from some back here. I got, I got to ask you guys, you younger guys, uh, especially. Um, now, Chris kind of knows where I stand on this. So, Selena Gomez turns thirty on the twenty-second of July. Mm-hmm. I have this argument with some of my friends a lot about who's who's better looking and more talented, Selena Gomez or Ariana Grande. Ariana oh, Grande. Grande. It's not That's close. what I say. But Curry mm. says He says Selena, Selena Gomez, Gomez right? Yeah. He's yeah. Smoking I, crack. I think Ariana Grande blows her away. And yes. I like Selena Gomez. I got nothing yeah, Grande to say. Grande blows her. Yeah. And then where do you guys stand uh, on J Lo? Do you find her attractive? Yeah, I do. I yeah. think she's, Jeff I think she's super talented too. Well, well here's the deal. She's a fucking idiot. But uh, yeah. she's, she's a <laughs> I was actually Jay-Lo. gonna bring that up, but here's the deal, oh. she got married this weekend. Yeah. Fucking like, married nowhere. Jay ben Affleck. Like I mean, at the end of the day, this uh, is so fucking dumb. Thought, Who's she married? Ben hey, Affleck. Ben so Affleck. He, here's dumb. where our uh, our terms come in. A Rod's absolutely down bad. Yeah, A Rod's oh, down. Hey, bad. He's better they off. Broke up? He'll yeah. find something better. A Rod, her. A Rod, J Lo broke up. Job, job, where the hell, where the hell you been? Oh, you, you couldn't even have been at the Belair game. It's been that long ago. But Matt, to answer your question, yes, I think she's an absolute smoke show. But big butt. You remember <laughs> Big Butt, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember Living Color back in the day? Yeah. Remember she was one yeah, of those dancers? Flag girls. Flag girls. Flag girls. Did you see her then? Yeah. She's completely different. Totally different. I mean, we're a totally you different girl. Don't, you yeah. can't even recognize her. So she had a shit ton yeah. of work done. See, I don't think she's as good. I like Shakira better. I'm partial Shakira. to her. I, I think Shakira. she's a better dancer. <laughs> I'm a huge Shakira yes. fan. What did, we were talking about in Living Color a few weeks ago. What, what's, how's the and Fire living, Marshall Bill. How's, the, how's this theme go? And do what you color. want to do. Living, living color. color. Yeah. And Living Color. Matt, right okay, below then. Selena Gomez, Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Zombie Land is one of my favorite movies. He's got some better ones than that, but that's not bad. He was also Beckett in and he's good on real. Solo. Yeah, in Solo. Yeah, he's yeah. good in Solo. Yeah, he's good. He's Daniel got Radcliffe, uh, Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry Potter. I always, I never liked him. Yeah, he's... I he's, didn't like him. Okay. I didn't like Harry Potter and Harry Potter, and I didn't like Frodo and Fro- and, and Lord of the Rings. I, I, can, I, I kind of side with you there. They were my least favorite characters in those movies. Yeah. I agree, Joe. Yeah. Frodo doesn't do what he does with that Sam Chris, uh, Chris, what do you think of uh, July 20th, 91? Mike Tyson accused of raping Miss Black America contestant Desiree Washington. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was kind of, <laughs> yeah, I think. I was actually uh, paying more attention to <laughs> July 23rd, 1984. Oh, that one. I thought yeah. you were going to mention that one. No, Vanessa Williams, first black Miss yes. America winner, Smoke forced show. to resign. Yeah, Smoke. that's a shame. Smoke. She was Smoke beautiful. Show. Resigned that? after Smoke penthouse show. photos. Yeah, published. Or, she lost. I mean, they, yeah, she they, had they a really, really dumb, I mean, they dumb. Crushed her. For yeah, that, yeah. that was no. awful. Yeah. Yeah, she was a worthy winner, and she oh, should have been you know, her crown. Hell of a singer, too. Mm-hmm. My God, she's talented. But yeah, that, that, that there was a big stink about that. Like, it was the worst thing ever. Hey, Cooley, what do you got? Your boy's not on there this week. I know, I'm sorry. I feel so Find something. Something happy, like the Great Fire of Rome, or uh, <laughs> King Edward expelling <laughs> the Jews in the yeah, in that was 1290. That I was like, this was a Hitler 2.0. It was King Edward. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was... Yeah. Expelled All right. the Jews from England. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-Semitism hey, running. Oh, rampant. we didn't even mention uh, uh, five. Or, no, I say that like it's a happy thing. Five or more people hanged for witchcraft. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that. That'll uh, brighten us up. Yeah. I think that is the most – I, I was genuinely in- think that that whole thing is so, so interesting to, to look at because we yeah. did a lot of stuff of that in school. The whole Salem thing. Yeah. It's incredible. It's incredible that a, a lie can just – just, just go spread. into a million different directions. But, and so, then, Dub, no. you're, you're think if they had social media, how many of them would have been home? Yeah. You're uh, completely <laughs> against that. There actually might have been some witch. Fuck no, there was no witches. There no. You don't witches. think anyone was practicing magic or no. anything? No, no. You could now. I Tichuba. could go. I, Tichuba, like she could go, per, like act like she's. You yeah. know, she had she maybe had her religion. Dolls, yeah, like but her, she shouldn't have been killed. Her, for her. Yeah, like yeah, there, like <laughs> her religion, like like. Yeah. <laughs> Her religion, like if she if she like practiced a certain thing that these uh, pilgrims didn't like or Sacrificing whatever. Sacrificing a chicken or yeah, something. Yeah, like if 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 they, if they see that, then they go, "Oh, you're practicing magic. We're gonna kill you." There's no magic involved. Yeah, but aren't you? But aren't you kind of ignorant to think that there's absolutely no, no way magic. there could have been a no. witch? Nope. No, Come on, no Jub. witches. No witches. Well, soup, they were just maniacs back then. They so didn't they know were just. I got they another were slang word for radicals. You. They were all out of their lima beans. Yeah, yeah out of their lima beans. Yeah. <laughs> now I have heard that one, Jared. I have heard that one. <laughs> no, I no, no magic. No witches. They're just a bunch of n- n- cranky old fucks. <laughs> <laughs> that probably goes along well, with they were, your hot They day, were Jub. escaping religious persecution from Europe to come and persecute other people here in the United States. Yeah, so. yeah. They got bored. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Oh. I guess that signals our, our little transition here into a uh, hot pit cold mug. Uh, I could Ooh. start us off, but I, I don't want to. Come on, yet. you got fire in your all belly right, today, fine. don't Let's you? Go. Okay, fine. We uh, I we did a um, we no, we did a uh, uh, a show. Jesus, I now you got me off track here. We did. We what didn't do say? a show. We went to. Sorry, a- Jesus. Uh, we went to Stevo uh, the night that the burger came out, which was last Thursday. We went to Stevo and saw Stevo. It's the first comedy show I've ever been to. I uh, got to see him. It was an awesome show. Really, 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 really great show. Uh, he did really good. Uh, they had Danger Aaron on. For those of you the Jackass fans, Danger Aaron got a really bad rap in the first couple of Jackass movies, and they he got to come and open up the show. It was it was cool to see, and I was really happy that we got to go down and see it. But. My hot pit comes in with uh, this. Now, if you are an... uh, I I don't even know how to start this off. But basically what happened was, uh, at the very beginning of the show, the the dude comes on the mic, and it's not Steve, it's somebody that was working for him, and he says, whatever you do, we have two rules. One, don't yell anything out. Don't yell anything out because it just ruins the the flow of the show. And and then if if one person does it, everybody does it. And he says, if you do it, you're going to get kicked out. Just don't do it. The second was, don't use your phones. Don't record. Because he's trying to make a show that, you know, you put that on the internet, then it ruins the show for everybody else. So those are the two rules. Two rules. And he says, "If if you can handle that, you're fine. You're good. Now, we get, I'm telling you, we get not 10 minutes into this show. There's a something going on in the front of the in the front of the show where where somebody like the the somebody came late to the show and the people in the aisle weren't going to stand to let these people in. So immediately Steve-O gets off track and he starts saying like, "Hey, this is distracting." It, and then immediately the whole place is like it's awkward. It starts getting mm-hmm. awkward. As soon as that happens, guy yells out. He screams something at Steve-O and Steve-O goes, "Whatever you do, just stop yelling. Just stop yelling stuff out." We don't go 15 more minutes. Another lady yells something out. Another 15 minutes. Same lady yells something out. Same Another. Lady. Same lady yells something out for a third time. And finally, he, Steve-O points her out. And he goes, he goes, who said that? And then she stands up and waves like, okay, this is the, the I yelled. They escort her out. They get her out of the, the place. Good. My hot pit comes in. If you're an adult and you go to... A live event or something, no matter what the circumstances are. So, kids, if if you got kids, let's just put your earmuffs on. If if you go to a live event and there are rules and you can't follow simple rules as an adult, adult human being. So this is a shout out to you, Steve-O. I apologize for our stupid fucking fans mm-hmm. because they can't keep their mouth shut and listen to one rule, one simple, simple. rule. 
All you had to do was shut up, and they, they can't handle it. They all It has to be all about them. You can't just shut your fucking mouth and listen to the show. Ooh. I am so tired of going to places <laughs> where people this. can't yes. just keep their mouth shut, listen to the rule. It's all about me, 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 me. You're at a comedy show. You're here to watch comedy. Keep your mouth shut and watch the fucking show. I am so sick of going to places <laughs> where people can't listen to shit. Mm. Yeah. Just listen to the rules, watch the show, and have a good time. So, Steve-O, I'm sorry for our stupid fans. Fans. Wheeling isn't a fool of dickheads. They're just dickheads. They here. were probably from Ohio. So There's yeah. my hog across yeah. the river. Yeah. So Woo. sorry, Steve-O. And good work, there. Job. Yeah, job. Yeah. Good work. Oh, get this man a drink. Hey, Wasn't there yeah. something Jesus. with the, somebody took a picture too? Right? Oh Wasn't yeah, that Jesus. There's another one. A, a guy is down at the thing. He's got his phone out and he does hey. something. His phone. Steve-O sees it and then they get in this argument. It's this. Hey, it, that kind of ties into mine real quick. I had like a, a hot pit cold mug that kind of tied together uh, about Chris and Coach's girl Brittany Griner. Uh, Anyway, LeBron, of course, had to speak yeah. up on the matter. And uh, <laughs> you were worried. He said about he, he wasn't sure if he'd want to return to America after what they, they've done for poor Brittany Griner, as if he was in her shoes. And Kurt Schilling had an interesting take on it. He said something like 300 million people understand obey the fucking law. Like, it's real simple. It just goes just with what you're saying. People don't respect mm-hmm. the law, they don't respect rules, what and they you, get themselves in trouble for no reason. What do you it for other people. What do you expect to happen? What exactly. does she expect to happen? Exactly. You break the rules, and, and Schilling went on to say, and I'm not going to bore people with it, but he said, as an athlete, he said he was taught, when you guys go to a different country for anything, you obey, obey their rules. They don't do things the same way we do in the United States, and you need to comply. And it's that's a res- why she's it's a res- she's it's a respect thing. Like, yeah. do and it. then LeBron about that, and then, of course, he goes and backpedals. Uh, oh, mm. anti-American slander from Cooley's boy. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 it's funny because every time, every summer we try to go on a trip somewhere. And like if we go, if we think about going out of state, the very first thing that I do always is look up stuff yes. you can't do. Yes. And that's all my number one thing. Because like, like you said, people don't, yeah. other places don't treat different you as customs, nice as they treat you here. Different behavior, yep. Like, yeah. But our people all want to leave here. If LeBron doesn't like it here, he should leave. Yeah, like in a crazy example for the crazy laws they make in Antigua, you can't wear camo. No. I'm pretty yeah, sure that, wow. hey, that probably camo. incites some kind of battle coup yeah. or some yeah, sort yeah, of military you know, thing that they had years ago. Who just knows? Like, just, impact just camo. people are idiots. Just I'm, I'm just I'm tired of people that can't behave as, <laughs> a, as an adult human being. What happened to that girl? What did they, they do? You know, they kicked her out, yeah, but it's like you, you ruin a show for the whole crowd. Like oh, the, right, it, yeah. it brought the whole thing down like he right. was you distraction could tell, they had to wait to yeah. get around you could tell he was kind of upset and like i guarantee you he went in the bus he said oh, we're never, never coming, coming back, back here, here. Yeah. never come back here again so if steve O's ever sees this we're let's, not all assholes let's try to get steve on yeah we'll, we'll tell him we'll apologize tell but, him to come back on behalf of that dumb bitch we're yes. sorry <laughs> yes but yeah. anybody else want to take the reins here chris you like, gotta have something happy well, happening this week well actually i i do it, it's kind of a it's a um what is it a cold cold, cold mug, mug. Uh, it, it's not over yet. It's like a, a work in progress of the, <clears throat> to be continued. But anyway, last night I'm cutting my grass. It was about this time. Shirt on or off? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, even if it was off, nobody would have seen me. It was, uh, it was dark. No, I, that is so true. That's gross when people do, guys do that. So I was cutting my grass. And uh, between the, my neighbor's shed and mine, I had an extra garbage can. And the closer I got to it, it's one of those ones that has the wheels. And I saw two little things moving. And I, I, I couldn't tell what it was, so I got closer. And it was two baby rabbits that, I swear to God, were like this size. I had never seen <laughs> I was a stone cold I, I swear to God, them. they were that small. And That's the smallest rabbit No, I've they ever must known. have just been born like yesterday or two yeah. days ago. And... So, uh, and there was a third one that would that was separated from probably like for me to job away, and thankfully I didn't run it over with the lawnmower. So I saw a neighbor and I said, I, I showed him to her, and she said, "Well, uh, you're not supposed to touch them; just leave them alone." So when I got done, I uh, I looked up on Google whatnot and said to her, "You know, the the mother will come back uh, at, at nighttime or early in the morning, feed them, and then eventually they go." away so anyway i get up this morning and the two that were by the um wheels on the uh, trash can were gone then the other one that was separated from him was still there he was alive or he or she was alive so i left this morning like at 8 30 and i and i was like fuck that this this poor rabbit is gonna die because it was right in the sunshine it, it well anyway i texted my neighbor she must have moved him back in 
between the um, sheds and put like a little little table over top of it just to keep it shaded. And so I got home, and it's like it's just laying on its side. And I'm like, oh, this poor guy's dead. So I just tapped him, and he, he, <laughs> and he, he woke up. And I was like, oh, good. So I was home probably maybe an hour before I came up here. I was getting ready for the show. And again, he was he was laying on uh, his side again. I'm like, fuck, don't be dead. And um, I, I tapped him again, and he, he shook like I startled him. So he or she is still alive. Oh, so great to hear. Two great out of three hear. right now. You resuscitated a rabbit. Well, I don't that's know. <laughs> but but so I'm hoping that the mother comes back tonight. Yeah. And there's not, and, and this little creature's. What about the father? Wow. Where's he in the equation? Oh, he he <laughs> he skipped he, 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 he skipped town already. He, he, he's one of them stick and run guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. But uh, I, but I'll update it because yeah. hopefully uh, this right. little guy can make. But it, I swear to you, I never saw it, like an absolute brand new baby. I mean, yep. well, you know, last night when I took him out, he did. He got kind of close to it. I'm like, shit, hit it. Toby. Toby's no, a peaceful that's a man. Yeah. That's a Unless snack it's a groundhog. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, like, keep but us anyway, updated. No, yeah, I will. Yeah, so time. hopefully, uh, we got to get a name on that rabbit. Yes. Yeah, we'll get him. Anyway, hey, that's I got, my anybody. I got, I got that, a, was, that was that was uplifting. Yeah. That was yeah. uplifting. I got a little bit of an well. I don't know. About I feel like I've been negative. This I have whole a cold. Show. I have a cold mug and a hot pit. My cold mug's very fast. I just wanted to give a shout out to the uh, the creator of Calamine Lotion uh, for Poison Ivy. <laughs> I don't know who it is, but I just wanted to give a shout out because this stuff's really nice. Send us a few bottles. You can see on camera. Charles Calamine. I've got Calamine. Is it working? Bob like, Calamine. Oh, it feels great. Well, I don't know if it feels good, but it, it it's soothing. Better than my, it could have. My poison well, ivy. Well, no, soothing means it feels good. Well, <laughs> you, it's, it's, it's you calmed s- it down. It was it was it, it was itching me pretty good. When did you apply the Calamine lotion? Uh, about two hours ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. But anyway, that was my quick cold mug. But anyway, I... <laughs> <laughs> what, you didn't jump like on, that? Jump Go on. on. Jared, this hot pit better make me laugh. Okay, this is my hot pit. So, um, we were spot, we were speaking about concerts and uh, and things earlier. I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this because I, I think this is a pretty pretty good one that I would be pissed about. So, uh, Tyler Childers, a he's a pretty popular uh, country singer. A couple weeks Never ago, heard of him, sorry. Mm-hmm. West Virginia, <laughs> born and bred, <laughs> Kentucky actually, Kentucky. but he lived he lived in West Virginia. So <laughs> anyway, he had a show. And he played 11 songs, and six of the 11 songs were covers of songs that nobody knew. And, uh, you know, the majority of the people that, that were there that went were pissed because he didn't play any of the songs that he was known for. So I saw, I saw people that were saying that they were pissed, but I also saw people that were saying he should be able to play whatever he wants. They were he's covers, happy. so he didn't write yes, them. Okay. No, it wasn't were, like he they was were cover putting songs out new music he wrote. Well, they were cover songs that nobody knew, and it was like Did a he bat. play his biggest hits? No, he didn't play any of his songs that he was known for. Yeah, I'd be Would pissed. Would you guys be pissed? Yeah, I'd be sick. Yeah. Especially if I, Chris, I traveled to go see this dude. Have yes. you ever been to a show like that where they didn't play their hits? Any of the no. old bands you went to? No, most of them would play their, their, yeah. the the songs that made them so popular. But I always hate hate these guys that uh, yeah. or groups that right. you know. Uh, right at, after thirty years, well, we put out a new right. album, and then well, this is the latest like, off our new album. Like, they were well, big in the eighties, and they right. released in two thousand nineteen. Right, so album. that's about the time I need to take a piss right, and go right. get a drink because no. I don't want to hear that. But he played cover songs. Yeah, yeah. Here's so the he thing, stole though, from but, other artists. Yeah, just like but, the songs that he enjoyed, I guess, but, playing himself. But, Jared, but they were songs that nobody knew. But oh. does he have a Lot of songs like he could fill up a whole show oh, with his yes, own stuff. Yes, he has a ton of songs that like. Is that, that are the one guy that goes? I don't know what that is. <laughs> like he's what? real. He's real. Like uh, he's real. Like he, like real. Real like. That's, da, 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 that's da, da, da. angry Squidward. Wow. Like he's real. Like rough. He's. I like, gotta get this guy's name again. My he dog great. down. On the river, he sprained his ankle. Like that? <laughs> like dumb. that? That's not a real I, word. I guarantee you, if you listen to that, it's, re- it's exactly I mean, like that. There's like some songs you may know. I, I, okay. I don't think he sounds like that. Sprained it on the river. But yeah, I, just, I, thought that would, I, I thought that was a little bit of a hot pit because I would be pissed if, if personally if I went and traveled yeah, sick and to my stomach. paid money to see a show and oh. he didn't play any of the songs that he was known for. What, I, if, what if you go to that show on Thursday and that guy doesn't play his so I might be diving over the deck. <laughs> <laughs> no, you might have your hands full. You might be all right. Anyway. If I paid, so, yeah, you guys should see. You should see how yeah. much Morgan Wallen tickets are right now. If I paid that much and Morgan Wallen didn't play one of his songs, I'd be down earth quirkly. Yeah. <laughs> you throw, would you throw your shoe on the stage? I'd make Morgan Wallen eat my shoe. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm sure you would enjoy it. All right, Jeff, I see you loaded up a little something. You got something for us? Jeff's ready. He's... I think I am. So I was I was a good boy last week, and I made sure that I brought a, a good cool. yes, and good. this and that. Um, I know that I know our, there's no hidden secrets that a majority on this um, set leans a little bit left, but this has nothing no. to do with politics. Left. Uh, and once the other again, way. What's that? Excuse me. Right. I yeah, jeez. Uh, jeez. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm masquerading I, I, as a left-wing I, I, extremist. I, I, um, yeah, my <laughs> bad. Jeez, Louise, I cannot yeah. believe that just came uh, out of my mouth. Right. My apologies. We'll fellas. forgive you. Yeah. So this is more of a humanity thing once again because I already made that statement before. And I'm all about. I, I truly, I don't care what people do in their own lives. Um, I'm truly whatever whatever Agreed. you choose to do, um, as long as it truly doesn't affect my day to day. I don't care what your preferences are. Good for you if it makes you happy. At the end of the day, I'm truly about. I'm getting to that age in life that if you're happy, that's what if you make yourself happy. Good for you. Um, I think at the end of the day about. Uh, individualism and being your own person and being a leader and not a follower is so important. Um, but we, we're having these communities pop up. And when I say communities, um, I'm not going to try to go too rogue here. So I'm going to be as vague as I can. And you can read into this uh, <laughs> population of communities that are popping up. And they're they're just trying to take away some of our core values and morals and what we're trying to do in this world. And I just think that um, it's kind of crazy. Like this one population is trying to take away pronouns. Um, they want to, and I just think it's crazy. Like they want to be now, they want to try to start implementing adjectives instead of pronouns. I, I just, I guess I'm just, I have a hard time as much as I want people to be individualized and they be their own person. I guess I just, and maybe I'm not meant to understand the way they think or the way they believe, but I just don't know how, like, uh, what somebody I was watching the other night on the internet, they, uh, they said, instead of calling me a he or a she or whatever the case might be, I want, I want it to be adjectives. So look at gorgeous over there <laughs> or look at beautiful over there. Christ, I'd hope, I don't know what I'd get. And, and I just think at the end of the day, you know, um, I'm not a holy roller. I'm not a Bible beater, but I think there is a purpose why there is a male and a female and why God actually did make us a male and a female. Yeah. And I think there's purposes on why he did that. And I'm never going to be smart enough to figure that out. And I guess I just not understand. I don't understand the whole concept of why we're trying to change. Uh, I get in turn, it gets, in, I guess why we're trying to make changes for the 1%. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. That makes no totally sense. So, well like, said, I mean, at the end of the day, I did, it just doesn't make no sense. Once again, if that's what makes you happy and it's even going as far now where some of these communities are going into some of our school systems and literally doing like strip tease yep. um, with fake money, giving kids in the classroom. We're talking truly middle school kids, third, fourth, fifth grade. And even one of these people from their own population said, you know, the, the innuendos that go into these types of shows, it's very sexually derivative. Mm-hmm. So I don't give a fuck if you're heterosexual, homosexual, you should not be promoting that shit. Mm-hmm. It would be no different if we would have a man and a female going in and doing a porn shoot right. in front of a fifth grader. Right. Exactly. It makes no fucking sense. No, and and when she when he she came out and said that and truly said, no five fifth graders should be watching my show. Nobody should be mm-hmm. doing it. And I guess I'm just a little bit confused on why our world is going that way. But that is my song. I, 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 totally I don't I don't really I'm, politics are not my thing. But I, remember, this wasn't thing. a politics. No, 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 I, 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 I I'm getting to the point. Right. No, no, no. I'm getting to my point okay. here. Politics are my thing, and I don't lead one way or the other, and I, I don't. I try to stay away from it all. But I, and I, but I do know about the whole pronoun thing. What I thought that I thought I thought we were going towards more pronouns. I well, thought that want, was the whole thing. They're using the terms. They want more inclusive pronouns. So I, I'm, I don't think I'm smart. I know what it is, but for me to try to sit here and explain, I'm just going to sound like a total dick. So I'm going <laughs> to avoid that right now. Um, but. It, we don't need to have inclusive pronouns. I, we have what they call well, pronouns. It's been around for hundreds of years. I find it's, those groups to be not not inclusive. They say they are, but they're not because they, they can't stand people like us they, mm-hmm. they, who actually, actually want to have the, a debate with them. Were you saying you, weren't, you can't understand how they think? Well, none of them can come on here and tell us how they think because they can't even put it into words. They just say their way is right and we're all wrong. We've been living for thousands of years the wrong way. When 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 uh, baby boys are born and they're dressed in blue, that's wrong. And when baby girls are born and they're dressed in pink, that's wrong. 
So you're supposed to ask the baby now, I guess, what color blanket he wants to be wrapped in in the fucking nursery. But it is true. I mean, come on. I mean, it's absurd. And like even the days of uh, gender roles, let's be honest, gender roles are going out the door now, as they should. I mean, it's right. no different that I have no problems if, if, if we're, you have two working people. The fact of matter, to be able to make shit work in a household nowadays, gender roles are out the door. Right. Because in, in order to make the household work, you know, a dude has to do the laundry. And, a dude has to do the dishes and stuff like it. Just as much as uh, maybe sometimes the wife he has to pick up the lawnmower and cut the grass there's right. no difference you always say how you're how you always say how your wife is the 100 percent. if i'm inside i have no problems if i'm inside cleaning she'll be the first person outside doing yard work with me and it's what makes the world it's what you mm. have to do if Facts. you have two working people that's just the bottom line so yeah well good stuff ah, good we'll stuff see. we'll see. good stuff oh, and it yeah. sucks Listen. too like you were saying like that's like the one percent but but they're getting away with it they're they're, getting, they're the i mean it's working for them how i mean but we're told we're bigots if we don't accept it and and like jeff said it's but, hard for us to wrap our heads around it doesn't mean that we hate those people no, it's by just, no means you, you don't make any sense to us and you don't make any sense to the majority of the population so maybe you should rethink your argument or find a better way to articulate it so we can understand so we that. can understand it better i would agree with that yeah Soup, you got anything? Yeah, cold mug. <laughs> Been on it for so many years. I had one last night, a oh, couple boy. nights ago. Medium chocolate chip cookie dough blizzard from Dairy Queen. Oh, yeah, you I, had look, one at... Uh... Look, I'm on... I want Dairy Queen to sponsor us so badly, so I'm <laughs> all over that. If I can try to pull that off by the end of 2022, I would love to have a signature blizzard. Wow. What Dude, would you put in it? Imagine. Uh, just more cookie dough. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, you had one, uh, you and Sammy, uh, when I saw you guys. Yeah, I, it's just, here's a, I guess, a, here's a hot pit, like, three or four years ago. Ah, longer than that. You know how they turn the Dairy Queen blizzards over yeah. and, like, the ice cream doesn't come out? Uh, we were at a, after a baseball game, I went there oh, boy. and saw someone do it, and I was like, oh, I want to try that. Well, there was two cups. Like, they put the blizzard because it was leaking over, and they put it in the <laughs> cup, and I didn't see him like, hold their fingers a certain way, so the other cup didn't come out. So I was like, oh, that's sweet. So I just grabbed the blizzard, dumped it over, ice cream all over the ground. <laughs> cool. Is anything? That sucks. Well, it's kind of like a story, hot pit that I experienced today, actually. So today I went to Tango Outlets with my mom. I was getting... Hey, an outfit for Nick's sister wedding this weekend. Congratulations Eleni. to Elaney, by the way. Yeah, that's Elaney. So while I was getting that stuff, we were actually on the way out, and all of a sudden I hear this girl yelling, help. So, you know, me being the great upstanding citizen I am, <laughs> I hand my bags to my mom, I run after the girl help her. And she's yelling, this lady stole my wallet, and she stole from the store. Oh. So I'm like, oh, my God. Like she's, So I see this lady. She's got two Nike duffel bags, like a towel, and she's sprinting through the <laughs> What store were you in? Or I, you I was outside. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, she was sprinting through the parking lot with these duffel bags just hauling ass <laughs> through the parking lot. And she's like, I didn't steal anything. I, she's oh, she's, she's running, running away. Yeah. I got it on film because oh, I film geez. everything. I think it's hilarious. But I was trying to help this girl because she's like, well, she stole my wallet and all this stuff. So... I was chasing this girl, boss is yelling at her, you know, boss, she's not scared of nobody, but she, we actually take this girl in our car to try to go follow her, and we, as we're driving down out of Tango, there's like this big hill that you're walking, yeah. mm-hmm. she's sprinting up the hill with no these way. duffel bags, wow. so, so at some point she must have just threw him over the hill because we saw her coming back down, and she and didn't have him. she had no hoodie on no more, no duffel bag, nothing, I was like, boss, I, I think that's her, and this cop pulls her over, and yeah, it, it ended up being her, but... Oh, wow. Honestly, my only my hot pit from it though is I don't care if you steal from the big places, but don't go in there and take someone's yeah. wallet. Yeah, that, <laughs> that yeah. ruins the whole day. They steal go from the billion dollar right. corporation. Yeah, it's not your people. She's You're a right. poor like high school yeah. girl. Be like Robin Hood. Yeah, steal her wallet? I mean, jeez. <laughs> You're right. Steal. That's a day ruin. Yeah, like go ahead steal a, a fucking duffel bag or something. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. But like, take a wallet. <laughs> you think the lady that stole what, had a drug problem or something was going to sell it? For I don't want to make assumptions. No, I will for you. I didn't see her. When I saw her, I. I would definitely put a, <laughs> put a good bet on it, yes. Maybe she's just a klepto. Well, maybe she was, yeah, maybe the coach yelled in, maybe she's a gambler. She, she, she was going to sell him and go yeah. over to the meadows and, and she, gamble on she horses. She was hauling ass up that hill. I got to show you guys the video. Awesome. It's incredible. Yeah, maybe we'll put it on social media. Yeah. <laughs> Blur her face out. Yeah. Nah, fuck her. Yeah. Right? <laughs> she's probably behind bars now, yep. maybe. Yeah. All right. Hey, t- uh, All-Star Games tonight. Who wins? AL, NL, and if you NL and M- under. NL and under. MVP predictions? Prince Fielder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who the guy from the Pirates. <laughs> Whatever his David name is. David Bednar. Yeah, there you go. Bednar. Two inning save. I'm taking Julio Rodriguez, MVP. Love uh, it. I'm going to go the other way. AL and over. Ooh. Jerry and hates unders. I do hate the under. 
Evie just actually did a Evie barrel is roll. To look at that. Um, <laughs> that was so cool. That was actually amazing. I hope the camera picked that up. Uh, no way it did. Um, anyway. But anyway, yeah. AL over MVP Trout. He's not playing. He's not playing. No, he's not playing. You're right. <laughs> that's all. Good, Byron, good pick. Yeah. Byron, that was what I was. Hey, saying. everybody, bet on that. Oh no, Byron, no matter anyway. You won't see the show. Byron Buxton MVP. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, well, well without further ado. Uh, well, my prediction: uh, National League betting or MVP. <laughs> he's gonna know. He's gonna. He's gonna close the door. Like it, bottom of the ninth. The renegade. He's gonna strike out the Six side. Six out save. Well, yeah. there you go. You heard it here first. We'll see if uh, you'll probably you'll definitely see the game before you hear this. So uh, you'll get to make fun. All you'll get to make fun of us. But uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Well, that's about all the time we got here. Uh, without. Uh, Without dragging on too long, thank you for uh, sticking around and listening to us. We're on our 18th episode. We got two more to go till 20, and uh, uh, Evie's doing awesome. tricks in front of us right now. Uh, but we will see you guys here in the next time. Thank you for stopping by and listening to us and watching all this stuff. Go follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Find it all. Go to the shop. That's the pineroomshop.com. Go get, go some get all the stuff. Yep. Go get uh, go get all the uh, the the hats and the shirts and the the all the kinds of gear, stickers, buttons. But Friday, uh, you'll hear another podcast before that time. But we need to really pump it up. So invite all your friends next Friday. Come down to uh, there's a model. There's a oh. pine room <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's pine room the stuff. The pine room uh, model. <laughs> yeah. So come down on uh, next Friday. Come down to River City. Bring your friends. We need to have a big show out. Uh, then you can go over hang out yeah. at the Italian festival. Come by. It's going to be a blast. Yeah. It's going to be yeah, fun. It's going to be a heck. Come by and tell us your pronouns. Right? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. No. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> come but, by. Hey, we're all inclusive here. Yeah, come by. I'll I'll show know, those I know. People. I know. I know. I'll give you my mic and I'll let you announce everyone. Bing bong. Okay. All right. All right. Well. uh <laughs> Go enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully it's a sunny day on Thursday. So uh, enjoy, and we will see you here. I don't Love know. I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> that was good job. Uh, nice. uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, greetings from the past. Uh, right. Anyway. Onward we'll and see upward. You. Onward and upward. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you here next time in the Pine Love Room. Love you. Bye. <laughs>